Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone everybody. Wait, hold on. Why is my thing not connected? Excuse me. I had you ready and everything. Come on. I, I have my stuff set up, but my captains are apparently not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> this is the road to dusk. You can call me road, dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream master, so I focus on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of themselves. And give me a quick moment while my computer is apparently being iffy. Oh, I forgot to update the pronoun tag on stream elements for the little thing. Uh, as a note, uh, just to let folks know, you will be hearing Magnus in the background because Faye is doing their own stream today. Um, they are doing stuff on Twitch, but we are doing something pretty interesting as well. Give me a moment while I am getting this fixed up. For those that do not know and have not read the description, uh, we are messing around with a cool little feature called Crowd Control. It's an extension that you can use on technically any platform, but it has a special integration on Twitch where the community can actually mess around with my game. Uh, give me a moment while I'm trying to see if I can change my microphone on Google Chrome because apparently the question would like an exact knife be okay on Twitch? What a what? Exacto knife. Because you're doing it for crafting reasons with the context of that, I would believe so. Okay. I was hoping it I didn't think it would be like bad, but Right. Why is this not connected to my microphone? If I could do, start doing crafting streams more regularly, perhaps I should do them on Cardo at some point. Yeah, you could. I mean, I'm already cleaning up the closet with this camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay, why? Oh, I see. It changed the default to my capture card for whatever reason, so... I mean, not at the moment, considering I am going to be gaming. I know, but like, later? Later, yes. Especially if it's like, the good shit. It's the fucking cup noodle. Oh, that's fine. Okay, you know what? Since you are gonna be in the same room as me, do you want to hop in, like, do the invite link thingy for my captions. Um, I don't think it's gonna register my voice though. Might do the captions fucky because it's registering us on both mics. Eh. Because I've Fair. already registered before. Fair. <laughs> well, no, you have to do it every time that there's a new session. Where do you want me to set this? Because. <laughs> but um, yeah for those that do not know what crowd control is and for folks that are watching this as a VOD gonna be a quick but it's gonna be a snore but hopefully it's gonna be a quick snore basically when you scroll down and you look at the little spot that says there's a little spot in my description that says crowd control. Check out crowd control to mess with my game. The following games are available to, ma to manipulate from my library. When you click on that little picture, um, allow yourself to leave and it'll pull up a thing to where it'll ask you to like get coins. Unfortunately, this does cost a little bit of money, but a little goes a long way because for as little as 25 coins, you can influence my game by either messing with RNG around me, messing with some of the monsters that are in the mines, 
uh, messing with like what items I have in my inventory. And Stardew Valley isn't just that isn't the only game that I can mess around with this. I could, we could also do this for Pokemon Emerald. We could also do this for Minecraft. We could do this for Hades. We could do this for Hollow Knight. We can do this for... I don't... For quite a few things, actually. Crowd Control's library on what it can mess around with is still a little limited, but for what it has, it is pretty extensive. So, I thought it would be kind of neat to experiment with this. If you guys feel like you have the financial safety to do so, to contribute in this experimentation for tonight, feel free to do so. Otherwise, those that are watching the VOD, you'll be able to see everything unfold. Uh, that said, actually, before we go too, too far, I do want to know that the Nuxer Clan, aka Nebulas Noctis, is preparing for a donathon through the first full week of December. This is a uh, a donathon regarding their car. It's uh, there's a part that needs to be fixed, but for whatever reason, they've only now been told that is a problem. Well, part of the reason is because it flares up when it gets cold. Well, do do you want to explain it more? Um. Basically, what's you, you want to come closer to the mic, love? Give me a second. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be cold. Right. <laughs> Let me know when you're coming up for your explanation. Okay, dokie. Okay. Magnus, okay. take it away. Basically, what's going on is my car has an electronic um, gas gauge, basically. It's not like your usual where it's like a dial. It's actually like electronic, and you can press a button to go between like your mileage, your gas, your... Um, you can also... It tells you what range, so how much many miles you'll get with the gas you have, and um, like your... Um, like the trip mileage and stuff like that um and that gauge whenever it gets cold um it suddenly stops like working um especially like um so it'll like go blank and then sometimes after a while as the car heats up it'll like show like gibberish and like it's trying to show everything at once or something weird um and so obviously it's completely unreadable when it's like that once the car completely heats up like sometimes 20 to 30 minutes after heating the car up um so like 10 minutes heating the car doesn't fix it like 20 to 30 minutes it will show again but especially with my job because i need to know my mileage for um like mileage reimbursement and stuff like that and also with the fact until it, it finishes, I can't see how much gas I have. I really need to get it fixed. And with me driving so much now, I need to know how much gas I have so I don't get stranded. Yeah, and the most annoying part with this circumstance is that... Um, the, the most annoying part with this, if I can press the right daggum thing, is that apparently this part has been known yeah. to be faulty by the manufacturer, but they was, never insinuated a recall. I was gonna continue with that. Yeah, um, I have a family member who works at Honda and talks to their mechanics. Apparently, this is a known issue with my model um, of car, and I think a few other models might have the same issue that use the same, like, gauge thingy. Um, and so it's a known issue, but they've never issued a recall because it technically, the car still works without it kind of thing technically even if you might end up stranded because you don't have gas and don't know it but um or you might um not be able to like have your insurance car insurance because you can't register your mileage or stuff like that um but it's been a known issue and they never issued a recall because it's not anything quote unquote dangerous or anything like that um so we have to pay for it out of pocket to be replaced Luckily, because I do have a family member who works um, for them, um, for the car dealership, I get a discount. Because originally, to replace it, it's 1100 
um, $1,100 and um, with a discount we can get it down to like 700 or something. Yeah. But slight caveat is that with that 700 on top of us with with us trying to help the Nicotier clan with setting up a donut on, especially through Kofi, there's processing fees and whatnot that we have to work on. So not to mention that's I don't think that's including taxes either. So regardless, they're going to need a little bit of help. And our house has already been dealing with a lot of financial chaos through this year from my struggle to getting my medication covered because my health insurance wanted me to be on for a certain amount of time before they would even consider it to having to get money for other things as is obviously the the three bodies that are in this apartment cannot that can cannot continue with this because it is way too damn much Hopefully. the Finances get better soon. Yeah. So, like you saw earlier with the little promo picture, uh, the whole week of the 3rd through the 9th of December will be taking donations. On the 4th, specifically, the Nuke Terrace will be having a dedicated stream for a donathon. And with that, there's some incentives. Uh, with some um. specific little bits to them because some of them are a little yeah. specific um, i did want to say that that week of streaming might um like the, when i'm streaming might be a bit off because um i'm going to be picking up more hours at work and i don't know what my schedule is going to be um today i will um probably tomorrow or tuesday so i can actually get my schedule for that week out and figure out when i can stream but, yeah Streaming might be a bit weird because I might be picking up like a bunch of hours. Yeah. That said, we do have a lot of incentives and milestones of rewards for the community prepared because we've been collaborating to try and help the Nick Terrors get things figured out. We have incentives from one, three, five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, fifty, and a hundred dollars because, like we said, given how expensive this is going to be, we're we're going to we're, we're going to need all the money that we can get, and hopefully this can help you guys feel like that you're getting something out of the reciprocation that you're giving to us. And with that, a very, very fun thing is that there's secret goals. Ooh! Get the Nuke Terrors to 600 bucks, and we will be showing some very, very special goals. That are a little bit more up there, obviously past the initial goal line, but I can assure you, it's going to be worth your while. Um. Also, Celine might be helping out with some stuff. Okay. She's volunteered to help with like the flirty messages, and um, I told her whatever she's willing to volunteer. Yeah. Um. She hasn't gotten back to me on exactly what, but yeah, she's offered. <laughs> okay. So you all might probably be seeing stuff from Selene. Yeah. That said, let's hop over to the game. And apparently, something interesting has happened with my game to where the third time now, my save file is missing. So I have to make my character and whatnot all over again. Which... I'm not really mad. I didn't get all that far in my last file, namely because... Why are you Eldritching? <laughs> because I'm... Be because of how I have things set up in this, and then also my master list for, like, my dynamic lighting. So let me see if things will be better if I I'll say, well, just turn right that off. I like the dynamic lighting, though. Yes, but it is keeps fun. eldritching you. I, you don't. There's not really a good spot for you because of your fucking wings. Ah! Wait, why is that PNG up? Why don't you use my other one? Because I'm in the Discord. Right.
This one might be better, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Because then I actually also have you to put it in... but you were the one who made it. I like the one that I made you, okay? And coming from the one that always gets so wet because you can't use VTube Studio because your laptop is starting to be picky. Wow. <laughs> it moves. It's dynamic. I love you. And I like the, like having the PNGs be like from like, I guess it's a 45 degree angle. I don't know what yeah. kind of angle that is. Side angle. Oh, like the one that I have? This, yeah. This one force view? Yeah. That's kind of what I did with mine too. All right, let me... Oh, I moved myself. Excuse me. Oh. Properties. Okay, there we go. Ah! Why did my shit do a feeling? I don't know, but my thing is... fucking around. Hold on. What the fuck have you done? I don't know! <laughs> I'm just trying to do shit! Your scuff keeps infecting me! Because I'm so exhausted, I tell you, when I'm... When I'm mentally fucky, technology just goes fucking weird around me. Why are you being weird? Come on. Oh, great oh. Hey, Drake, hope you're doing well. Also, please ask next time when you hop in. All right, why is it being weird? Come on. Yeah, you... Oh, wait, I know why. It's because I turned off the fucking master list for <laughs> for the lighting. So that's why it's being picky. It's being picky because of that. Sorry, Drake, I just, I, I have the role for asking for consent before everyone hops in because I've dealt with people in the past hopping in that have made other people uncomfortable with certain things, so just... And also sometimes just spoons. Yeah. So, not angry, just be wary. Yeah, we just like knowing just like, because if we have like 10 people in that can get really overwhelming and if we are low spoons it just is a lot. Yeah. Also, moving shit around. Oh, tick. You good? Yeah, just annoying tick. Okay, browser. No TTS noises. Yeah, because unfortunately, we still can't get uh, anything for like TTS for Picardo. So we're kind of limited. So if our screens ever get popular enough, we might not be able to use TTS as much. I mean... Like, if you have a large community that's constantly talking, that can be a lot. Yes, but I will still have TTS available for people to use individually. If we get popular enough to where we get a lot of people wanting to talk at once, I'll just have it to where... Um, I'll have it to where the... Excuse me, why is... Why Why am I all the way over there? Oh, wait. It's because I'm editing things. There we go. Now we're good. Wait, where did that go? Also, how are you doing that? I just clicked studio mode. Uh, excuse me. Do, do I need to have... Do, do I need to have you on in order for you to show? Why are you not showing when I do that? Oh, wait, because I have to do it all over again. Oh. All right. Gotta remove you in here. It gets picky sometimes. Bear with me. 
y'all y'all are not seeing the changes, but that there there's shit going on. Okay. Oh come on! Son of a bitch! Why is it still not wanting to show me? No idea, because it shows you just fine otherwise. Let's go back to. S oh! There we go. There we go. You still big. You hover. Exactly. I'll just put you there. <laughs> I attempted to make, like. Oh, one more. where you, like, fucking nod my head? That'd be funny. But I was gonna say, in lore, like, make a. Where, like, Vagnus is, like, my height, but because of his wings, he's, like, inhumanly tall. <laughs> like, like, he's human height, technically. <laughs> but, like, his wings just make him very menacing. Yeah. Because <laughs> huge ass wings. Yeah, big, big wings. So, like, he's, like, five foot four, but, like, seven to six. I want to see how this six, looks. Six, five to seven feet with the wing. I want to see how this looks like with the dynamic lighting. Oh, pretty blue. Pretty blue. Also, Drake, if you want to hop into VC, I don't mind it. Yeah, we're we're okay with you hopping in. Like, if you want to hop in, like, oh, you're going to get food. Fuck. <laughs> you want to text it? Do you, you want to text them? I will. Okay. In a minute. Yeah. I have to. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We've been tangenting so much that you that you're late to your stream. Oh, that's uh, funny. No surprise there. Oh, that's funny. Okie dokie. But like I said, third time now, I have lost my Stardew file. Probably because it's on my external hard drive that I keep having to plug and unplug, which is also my backup and has barely any space on it left so I don't want to go through the effort of having to pull that again so we're just going to make a whole fucking new game <laughs> again which is totally fine because the last few times that I keep playing Stardew I only get like one stream in and then I'm like I'm good I'm gonna hyper focus on something else <laughs> but <laughs> as a reminder for those that are just hopping in we do have crowd control going on. If you scroll down uh, and you see the little uh, icon that says crowd, that, that says crowd control, you can click on that and you can use that to influence my game. It's a pretty rudimentary, uh, it's a pretty s simple system where unfortunately the coins and whatnot that you use in crowd control do cost real life, real life money, but a little does go a long way. For as little as 25 coins, you are able to influence my game. Which, I believe it's like 50 coins for... Hold on, let me check it out real quick. I think it's like 100 coins for a buck 50. Yeah, 100 coins for a, for a buck 45, actually. And that's US, so... Like, like I said, a little goes a long way. But yeah, let's hop in. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. And by the way, lurkers are very much appreciated on my screen. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. <laughs> also, yeah, Magnus is going to be having their stream going on now. Listen it's close. live now. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. He dead. Well, he dying. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. That happens, my boy. You'll be ready for this game. Now, let's.
let Grandpa rest. Several years later. This, if this game was not any more anti-capitalist, I don't know what it would have to do. <laughs> oh. It is literally reject society, return to farm. <laughs> oh. But um, if anyone doesn't know what we mean when we say lurk, um, basically just have the tab in the background and mute the tab instead of the the stream on Twitch. Well, Zelda's on mobile. That's the main okay. caveat. Yeah, this is if you're on PC. Yeah. <laughs> you can't really do this on mobile. We know that lurking can be very difficult on mobile. Because yeah. a lot of phones, processors, and computers cannot do all that well with having multiple things up at once. The only ones that I know that do pretty decently are, like, the most recent Samsungs and Apples and maybe some Huawei's. <laughs> so unless you have a tablet, we don't care. <laughs> You're on mobile, we understand. The tablet was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Get though you know. Dear Terrible, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Don't tickle me, you bitch. Ah. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Why are you biting my shoulder? <laughs> you rambunctious child. Ah, memories. You know, if you were older, I would give you a story about your grandma. <laughs> Real connections with other people and nature. Well, I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Gaidimond Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? My phone can barely handle showing me your own handsomeness. I know you keep telling me that your phone keeps derping. I feel so bad for you, Zelda. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. How much time you have left on your timer? Like two minutes. I'll try and speed run through this. Hello, you must be terrible. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now taking things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I mean, how dare I not show me a road in all his handsome glory? <laughs> this is Guide Boat Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Right, yes, a new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lois, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very... Rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. 
Crusty might be more apt, though. Road! Don't listen to her, Tetherball. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'd buy one of her house upgrades. Uh. Anyway, you must be tired from a long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you want to explore the town a little bit and introduce yourself. The town's people would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Your progress has been saved. Let's go. Right. Uh, welcome everyone. I'm gonna mute for a bit while uh, Magnus does their intro. Okay, I is back. Dude, you have some killer ass tunes on your phone when you are half asleep, though. You have some killer tunes on your playlist when you try and fall asleep, though. It had so much shit by Ghost and Pals. I was so happy. Oh, I wonder whose influence that was. <laughs> it was actually an auto-generated playlist uh, based on my recommendations and like... Um, the... Because I sent you Scapegoat that one time. I've also listened to other Ghost songs. Um, and it was the a playlist that was... The primary song was... Uh, Give a little by uh, CG5 and uh, what the fuck's his other name? Someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the name. Yeah, someone else. Who gives a damn? It's a really good song though. Okay, I'm not gonna play my back. Uh, oh, but the 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 song that has been on repeat. 
in my brain for the past like 18 hours has been reckless battery burns. Also, as some of you can tell, I sound... Hold on. Actually. Consider autistic. <laughs> but consider four hours sleep a day for over a week. When when people tell me, oh yeah, just over there, like if I have a if I have like a boss or a coworker say, oh yeah, it's just over there, go take care of it, and they just point. I cannot fathom that, and people get angry at me. Like, I legit got yelled at and got called derogatory shit over it. No, that is not what I was referring to, bitch. I, I know, but it I reminded was, me of that. I was referring to the fact that it was right next to you and you couldn't find it. Yes, and it's because when people just go, hey, right there or hey to your right i'm like okay where you have to pull a door to the explorer with no. me okay <laughs> no that you are still not getting what i was saying it hit like i saw it before you ever even looked at it like you were looking over there and just completely missed it like before you even said where are my cough drops I'm saying I am across the room and I am nearsighted and I still found it before you did. Right. Like I said, pull the door yes, the I explorer am. with me. I want something in my room. I'm too soft to continue to talk. <laughs> Not like I have a game that's going to make it overwhelming. Actually, oh, Ooh. that reminds me. I, forgot. You had an hour. I am feeling somewhat better. I am still congested and need to take meds to help me out, but I am doing better. question is, is it still a cold or is it just allergies at this point? Because I think we both deal with constant congestion due to our allergies. I hope it's not allergies and my allergies have been this bad. Because if this is going to be consistent, this is fucking miserable. I don't want to live here if I'm going to deal with this shit. No, you will probably just need to start doing a nasal spray daily. The antihistamine spray. I forgot my doctor prescribed me one, but I forgot to grab it because of so much shit keep happening. So well, I have to go for so I have to go for a refill. Actually, when we got my testosterone today, the person told me that it was that it wasn't gonna be ready until Tuesday. Fuck. Well I'm off Tuesday. So. Well, I work Tuesday. I'm also off Wednesday. I should be... Actually, let me double check my schedule for this week. Let me tell you, this is riveting content, I'm sure. But now I made you some content. Daddy made you your favorite open wide.
Hold on. Ah, here it is. I work Tuesday and Wednesday, and I won't have a day. Have... Oh, screw you. The music stopped the game. Evelyn. Alex. Just trying to talk to everybody. Irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? I, I feel you with that, George. Huh? In game. Oh. is only open until four. Damn. Don't believe we met. I'm Morris, judge at customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a judge member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Fuck off. But in the future, if I do more like crafting streams like this, we will probably try to get an overlay made that's a bit more accommodating of the camera. Um, and eventually, eventually, probably get a different camera that I can get, like, I guess better angles or something on. Like one with an actual holder instead of the little webcam I have. <laughs> so I just have a Logitech webcam right now that's freaking literally, um... I have it attached to the wall with, um, what the fuck is it? 3M, 3M tape. tape? Yep. And it's usually what I use for my model. So if my VTuber model, um, sometimes doesn't track my face as well, it's because it's using my laptop cam. Which is still a good cam, but I've noticed it definitely doesn't track my face as well as the Logitech does. Which is interesting, because this Logitech camera is, like, five years old or something. Honestly, well, actually, it's probably more like 10. So I got this when I was like 15. Oh, that's a long time. I can't talk to anyone. Well. Oh. Let's see if I can get to the wizard. Knock, knock. There we go. If you're wondering, yes, I have music on in the background <laughs> on Spotify. So you can't hear it, but I can't. So I might be singing occasionally. Just because <laughs> fuck it. 
I don't think Spotify's gonna do shit about my acapella bullshit. Especially my badly sung acapella. And singing is kind of one of my strengths. So. Yo! Yo's! What is yo saying? Did see that is a thousand and then five a hundred bits. So eleven hundred. Yes. Thank you for doing that math for me. My brain does not math right. One thousand five hundred. Oh, one thousand five hundred. Yeah, I said five one hundred bits. No, you only said one one hundred. No, I said five. No, you yes. only said one. I said 1,000 bits and then one, two, three, four, five, 100 bits because I was counting them. I thought you meant one, two, three, four, five, and then like you saw like something else and then 100 was the total. No. My brain You could have just said today. 500 bits. That would make more sense, not five 100 bits. Well, it was five 100 bits. Five 100 bits, as in 500. Yes. But they were done in individual bits. There were five of them in each was 100. Oh my. <laughs> and my. I am. I am chronically exhausted right now. I am not doing that fucking math, okay? All good. Oh, that should probably. I am chronically. <laughs> I am chronically exhausted, and I have fucking dyscalculia, so this shit does not come naturally. I have to fucking brute force my way through math. The brain does not do it. I get to a cash register when I'm going to buy stuff and usually it's a surprise to me you want. It's adding up to. Because <laughs> I have a hard time, unless I use a calculator to add up everything, I have a hard time knowing how much that <laughs> was. I try to, but it's hard. <laughs> My brain doesn't like it. Aww. Uh -huh. Yeah, this calculia basically means it's, it's, well, it's dyslexia, but with numbers. And basically just means my brain doesn't really, I don't know exactly what causes it, but I don't really have an internal sense of numbers. Like, um, it also affects your ability to do things in, like, a specific order. Um, so, like, um, sequence, um, like, say, so it can affect, like, if you dance or anything, it's hard to remember, like, dance sequences and stuff like that, anything that's sequential. So, like, because I remember even as a kid, I struggled so much, because I was doing karate for a brief period, and my brother got way ahead, but I struggled so much to even get past, I think it was white belt, because I couldn't remember the sequence we were supposed to do. We were supposed to do something in a specific sequence for part of the test, and I couldn't for the life of me remember it. And well, that's actually a part of dyscalculia, which I didn't get diagnosed with until I'm adult. Because I was able to find workarounds in like school and stuff, so it didn't affect my grades, so I never got tested or anything. And I didn't even know it was a thing until I was like an adult to realize, oh, Wait, that's not normal. Yeah. Um. But, so like, math was always my weakest subject, because I was always all A's. And to be honest, that was without really trying. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it doesn't, and part of it is because they would cover a lot of the same stuff every year, and I have really good memory when it's like educational stuff. So, um, I would literally just 
like, even if I didn't do the homework or anything, I would rem I'd be able to pass the test just from the content of the previous story. It was fucking ridiculous. And then, until I started getting into, like, harder subjects, I believe. Because then I was able to start taking, like, electives and get into stuff that actually challenged me. And then I did really well because I was that person who would actually read the fucking textbook. Especially, like, my science classes. I used to literally read my anatomy textbook and my biology textbook and shit. And I was... And a lot of my teachers realized I was one of the only students who was actually reading the materials. And so, like, if I needed, like, extensions and stuff because I couldn't finish it, they'd oftentimes, like, be very lenient with, like, deadlines with me because they knew I was doing the reading. And that's why it was taking me so much longer because I was the only one putting in that much effort. It wasn't really that much effort. It was just, I liked the fucking reading. It was interesting shit. And also, my brain... I think also, some of it was, like, because, like, we were told to, so I wanted to do it. Like, my brain wanted to follow the rules, so to speak, while everyone else found shortcuts. I need, like, a freaking... What? No, I wouldn't be surprised. I need, like, um, a canned film. <laughs> you need a what? A canned <laughs> what? A cam. Camera. Oh. <laughs> to do this, because I have to look at the holes to get the fucking needle through it. And so, I keep having to put it up to my face. Break your back. Me? Yeah, break your back. Just hunch down closer than a desk. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> At least I could pull off a decent quasi moto. Oh, thanks. My Neko Mancer shirt. Fucking hearing someone in my system go sit in it. I'm like, no. Accidental road face reveal. I was joking the other day that if I start doing crafting streams, it's gonna happen one day. Because <laughs> I have to use a camera to do this. And we're all fucking derpy enough to accidentally have that happen. Oh, absolutely. It's less of an if and more of a when. Wait, no. The beach is this way. Not 
if not, like, I wouldn't mind showing my face. And also, sometimes I do my makeup and I kind of like showing it off because it looks pretty. I like experimenting with like face makeup and stuff and then showing it. <laughs> right here to put that down slightly. Huh? Mm -hmm. that's slowly disintegrating because I have a really fucking bad feet. find one since I moved. I, I also need a new, technically I should probably try to find a GP closer to us. Um, because I still see my old one who's like two hours away from me. Um, and also need to find like a psych doctor to get my ADHD meds. You wanna know what sounds bomb right now? What? Tempera. Fucking Tim at night. Yes, and? What place is gonna have Tempera at this time? I don't know, but it sounds good. Fucking goofy ass. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure who's up right now. I think, I think Magnus, but we're also so tired we're blurry, so... No, that's a mood. I think Mal might be up, especially as I this is his outfit I have on right now is one of his favorite outfits. Considering how much I wanted to wear it, um, uh, it probably is how that Mal's up. Oh, that was satisfying. They need to go there during the day. This journal actually accidentally... Um, the journal one, one I'm making right now is for my girlfriend. Uh, for Christmas. I'm making these for Christmas gifts to get, like, practice and shit. Um, <laughs> this one ends up Christmas with my blood on accident. <laughs> Story time? I, um, so I have to use an awl, which is the sharp pointy thing. Um, that part there sharp pointy thing to um, put holes in the material um, in order to be able to thread it. Part of one of the steps in book binding. I went and I put it, which you would think these ones, which are three sheets, um, these ones, they're three sheets um, that are stacked together. Um, it's called a signature. Um, you think these would be the harder ones to um, Use the all and poke holes through in order to. <laughs> I know, um, but so I have to poke holes in it, and the signatures are actually pretty easy. Um, I don't usually like find that I'm almost jabbing myself with them. The problem is the covers, the back and front cover pages. Um, which are one sheet, and for some reason, those are the ones I always, almost, I either jab myself or almost jab myself with. Because it goes through so quick, and next thing I know, the all's in my finger. And well, I poked myself, and I didn't realize I was bleeding, and then, um, I realized I was bleeding, but I had already touched a page. 
and I actually didn't realize I got blood on the page. It was the one of the covers, and so I put a band-aid on, and then I was um, working on uh, threading it or folding it or something. Wait, no, I would have already folded at that point. Um, so I was working on, like, threading it, and I noticed um, a spot. I was like, oh, something got on it, and I couldn't tell what it was. And then I looked closer, and then I put two and two together. Oh, shit, it's my blood. <laughs> I guess I could try to learn the har the flipping Stardew Valley controls for fishing. Last time I tried to fuck with them, they annoyed me to no fucking end. So what makes you want to try them now? Because I'm playing solo. And before when I would play Stardew... I would leave it to the group that I was in, and someone else would do the fishing. <laughs> well, I would I would be a dwarf, and I would diggy the hole in the mines. I don't think I technically probably don't need to, but I do like to double knot the end page, the front and end covers, just so I know it stay will be good. Mm. Ooh. Oh, Zelda says, here's a reminder for Broad and Magnus that they are both amazing, wonderful, and adorable, and cute. Thank you, Zelda. Takes one to no one. Oh, this is so much more difficult than Dagum Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lambs is a lot easier. Oh. <laughs> what? You not like that? Maybe. Get the all and continue, uh, get all the holes poked. 
Did I ever inform you how that? Well, first of all, let's um, actually get these into the signature book. <laughs> I'm making my signatures. I'm doing oh. um, 10 signatures, each consisting of three of these folded pages. Wait, that was only two. Fuck. For what? One of the, I do want to try to sell these. We should design Anastasius's helm. Oh. Okay. That just straight up made me think of a thing. For like a super high um, goal next time that um, we have to do a donathon. We do cosplay of ourselves as our, like, VTuber personas, like, having costumes based on our designs. And we can have one of Anas uh, for Anastasius and his tome. What? Do ambitious- Say that like it's gonna be easy for me when you gave me armor! <laughs> Not for Anastasius! You were talking about both of us do. Oh! Oh, your pauldron's gonna be easy! I've seen tutorials on how to make pauldrons pretty easy. And I'm gonna be making it because I'm the crafty one. And we both know this. Yeah. But hey, I can look shit up and I can help. In that regard. Bitch. When it comes to crafting, I don't think you know your head from your ass. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> but also, caveat, you gave me no constraints on your design. You told me no limits. I did. I wasn't complaining about my size. I'm just saying. Well, you're complaining about it now because you're going to have to potentially put in the effort to make a goddamn pauldron. Love you. <laughs> I need to get some stuff, so I'm gonna turn the camera off real quick. You know, Stardew Valley, when I first played it, reminded me that you can actually eat daffodil. Uh, yeah. I never I once thought to eat daffodil. You can also eat, um, dandelion. Yeah. Non-existent Texas speech noise. <laughs> Zelda, are you that sad that there's no TTS? As I hear you flipping rummaging. Hush. I need to grab some shit. Uh. Okay. Now where the fuck is my game? Ooh. There we go. Alright. Actually, what do we have? Oh, the daffodil gives us no energy. I don't know why I keep doing that. God. The wild horseradish won't Wait. be of much help. 
And I want to save that for when we can get into the mines. This is how you can tell I'm ADHD. Uh, in the middle of making my signatures, like actually making them, I forgot what I was doing was like, oh, what am I going to do next? And fucking went and did that, not realizing I hadn't even fucking completed my signatures. That, that's good. Because I still Shit. have like two signatures that needed to be put together still. Shit. Fuck. I mean, it depends on your definition of fun. Huh? So it depends on your definition of fun. That was sarcasm. <laughs> Measuring's always the least fun Damn it, they ain't got me wanting to do karaoke again. <laughs> You're helping me make my incentives. You could have always made that one of the incentives. <laughs> Your fault for not. Right. Okay, weird thing. I feel like the longer that you've been transitioning, the closer in pitch that you've been getting. Yeah, I've told you. Um, Rosebud also noticed that. Which I've told you that I think some of the reasons I'd be so off pitch was because of dysphoria. Ah. Because in my head, my voice was deeper than it actually was. And when you're hearing your voice is deeper than it was, because you were mentally deepening it because of dysphoria, and you're trying to sing at a certain pitch, it does not work out. Yeah, no, I can see that. Oh, wait, I need to take these out of my inventory. Oh, what the? Because 
stop taking inputs for a split second. That goes on one of you guys. Before I forget, I made sure to like and retweet Max's posts on the Donathon. Thank you. Huh? Seriously appreciated. What about it? Zelda liked and reposted your info about the Donathon. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Alex says, my head voice is way deeper than I actually... Well, my head voice is way deeper than I actually sound. Who did? Said that? Elk. Ooh, yeah, that's a mood. I didn't realize mine was until I started transitioning. Um, and then I really realized it uh, because, you know, my voice did actually start sounding closer. And that's what I also realized. I could never scan my voice at all before. Like, I knew my voice made me uncomfortable, but you know. Everyone tells the, you that, like, um, no one likes their voice and everyone, like, has, like, a guttural reaction to it. Uh, what I realized was my guttural reaction was a lot more intense than apparently most people experience, because I despised it. And that's why it's called dysphoria! Yeah. And honestly, like, it just amazed me that anyone could stand to hear me, because my voice annoyed me. Like, I thought my voice was annoying as fuck. I still think my old voice was kind of irritating, but still. <laughs> you will never be near as annoying as a Navi from Legend of Zelda. As what? Navi! Legend of Zelda? Hey! Listen! Hey! Listen! Watch out! Oh, so rich. Excuse me! <laughs> Throw this ramen at your fucking face! But that did something so he sounds he sounds when he's he's trying to avoid that. Wow! <laughs> Literally just did fucking her into voice act when he's voice acting. Wow, I'm <laughs> that feels like an insult. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> too, too much laughter. Magnus.exe has stopped working. That. Wow. Boop. Ooh, Silver Lily, hope you're doing well. You're on a computer, come lurk. I'm lonely. Lonely. You are so lonely. You have nobody. You're on your own. You are so lonely. Oh. I just saw you. As a reminder on uh, Picardo over here, we are experimenting with crowd control. If you scroll down to the description and you check the info on crowd control, a little goes a long way, let me tell you. Um, Kala, just as a, by the way, if you. I know you're in the Discord, so you might have seen it. Um, I am having a donathon here the first week of December. Um,. It's all posted in the Discord and Dreaming News. Um, we're doing like incentives and all that stuff. Usual Donathon stuff. Um, but my cars basically needs a part replaced. That, um, which it was, it came faulty basically is what is going on. Um, but because there's never been a recall issued, um, we have to pay to fix it out of our pocket. Um, so, fucked. Oh. Yeah, you uh, good over there? Yeah. Um, which fucking sucks, and so we're doing a donut on because it's like $700 to replace that part, so it's fucking pricey. Da, 
actually, you know what? I can just go north. That'll be easier for me to get back home. Do a big old circle. Light. I want to, but also it's gonna be a pain. Yeah, because we don't have a whole lot of space. Huh? Because we don't have a whole lot of space. I was referring to one that's connected to on my desk. Ah, uh, derp. What other fucking flame do you talk about? There is no other light in here. I mean, we. I'll, we, we still don't have a whole lot of space. I have a decent amount of space on my desk. That's why I can do crap at my desk. I can probably turn off the camera here in a second. Yeah. Blah. I think I'm going to turn the off for a minute. Yes, I can go in the mines. I can diggy the hole. I can diggy the hole. Yes. Oh wait, I should probably water the plants first before I go. Just hearing so much noise from over there. It's almost like I'm hearing a cartoon of like bashing of pods and all and everything. Exactly like this isn't just my usual. So what you're saying is you're a cartoon. No, I'm saying I'm fucking noisy. I mean you're already pretty animated. Love you. I said you are animated. Yeah, I mean, it's called ADHD. Yeah. You think so many people with ADHD end up being entertainers? Fair point. I mean, Markiplier and Jack. Markiplier, Jack, Septicai, and Crank gameplays are all ADHD. Had you never noticed that trend? No. Yeah, that's gonna be way better.
anyway, how are you doing, Kala? And if you're still here, I don't know if you're still watching the stream or not. Um, um, if you have any place that, uh, like, I'm not in and I haven't said anything about and you can promote the donut on, it would be definitely appreciated. Um, you're, you have permission to post, like, all the images, um, that we posted in the Discord to other places. Just try and get word out there of it so that hopefully we can get help. Because late stage capitalism is fun. Yep. But you know, it's not that important. It only kills the poor. I just said was start of hell. Oh my god. You think? Um, it's not wrong though. Things to benefit the rich a hell of a lot. Yeah. And honestly, they end up with their lives extended because of it because. Medicine is fucking capitalism. Yeah. Alright, but I don't have anything on me. Oh. Oh, um, Star. Sorry, Star, I didn't notice because I don't have TTS. Magnus, Star's yeah. wanting to know if she can join the VC. Join VC? Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. Wait, has Kala been wanting to join? They haven't said anything. Wait, when did Kala say that they wanted to join ABC? Hold on. Oh, derp! Oh my god, Kala, I am so sorry. Can the Silver Lilies join in as well? Yeah. Okay. All of y'all, come in. <laughs> uh, say I joined it, or like Kala asked three minutes before I did. He's in the waiting room. They. Uh, it's is it Kala hey, who's fighting right now, or is it someone else? I they just automatically well, use they them because if I remember right, Kala is gender fluid. It says, "May we come in?" They're saying yeah. we. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and let me pull up your PNG. Hello? There you are. Oh. Hi. Friendos! Hi! You quiet child. <laughs> now I need to update. Yeah, I was about to say. I have. Yes, I am once quiet. Their user volume turned up to 200% and still can barely hear them half the time. Uh, who's fronting for y'all for the Silver Lilies? Currently, it's two at the moment. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's Ka uh, it's Keller and um L Lali at the moment who's. Okay. The body has been doing chores upon chores, and the body is very tired. Ah. Uh, oh. That's a fucking news. 
That's uh, why Kelly didn't go do a dream today because too tired. <laughs> yes. I mean, bit of a mood though. Mm hmm. I've been having insomnia for over a week now and been getting like, if I'm lucky, four hours of sleep a night. Mm. Been fucking fun. So I get you on the fucking exhaustion part. I am like, my soul is exhausted at this point. That's, That's understandable. Also, hello, you sweet cuties. Yes. E, how you been doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just... Me? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> all of y'all. I'll let... Uh, wait, what is your... Do you have a system name? I don't know. When you, yeah, the Silver Lilies. Yeah, the Silver Lilies. Yes. <laughs> Sil Silver or Silva? Silva. Sylvie. Uh, well, Sylvie. 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 Oh, there it is. It's in the... I'm, I'm dumb. Also, um... Uh, Silver Lilies yes. Star, I have a link for hopping into my captions so that my community for the VODs can know what you are saying. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was a bad thing to happen. <laughs> Each time I use this, it doesn't seem to want to work. Why it's because I... it Yo, wants Matthew, Google. Who? Yo's. Yo's. Everyone consent to Yo's hopping in? Yeah. Sure. Sorry, I just had a... I had, just had, had a stressful a... day? No, I just... Uh, I thought about going to work tomorrow, and I just had a mild panic attack. Oh. That, that's been happening all day today. The thought, the literal mere thought of me going to work makes my chest hurt. Sweetheart. Good job. Damn. He's been trying. I know. Do you have any sick leave accumulated? <laughs> I didn't tell you, did I? Or did I? Did I not? I don't. I got written up last week for using all of my sick time. Huh? huh? Not to interrupt, but uh, my uh, PNG is right over Star in uh in uh Magnus's. Uh. All right. I just yeah. figure I'll um, off her for a bit. I don't oh mind. My gosh. I just hope I got permission from from her boy. <laughs> but if anyone's topping, it's me, my love. I'm topping you now. Oh, um... I'm still not complaining. But <laughs> I'm just here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But no. Yeah. Um. Last week. No. A week. It was very recent. It's it, it's blurring together at work, but la no. it was like a week and a half ago Weeks. because that's when you told me about this. Yep, week and a half ago. On um, oh yeah, because it happened on a Thursday before Veterans Day weekend and out of that. Anyway, uh, I literally got called into the office. They wrote me up for using my sick time, and when they said, "Do you have any questions?" I was like, "I don't understand why I got written up," but. Okay. And they're like, oh, well, because you're unreliable. Look at all this time that you've used. And I'm like, so you, I'm like, you do own, realize on this. That is your own personal time that you would use, that you had saved, that you would rightfully been able to use. How is using what you have been rewarded by corporate showing unreliance? I'm pretty sure that exactly. is literally yeah. illegal, actually. No, uh, considering, it's not. considering her state, it's <laughs> Probably not. It's not. I, I called to report them about it, and they're like... Well, I called to report them about them not... Because Friday I got to go home an hour early. But I only got to go home an hour early because on Thursday they said, you. They said, don't take a lunch. So, they're like, don't take a lunch, and you can go home an hour early. And yeah, the the U.S. Department of Labor literally told me that they uphold overtime and all that other stuff. So what they did wasn't illegal. If anything, they might get slapped with a record-keeping infraction 
But if they pay, if I worked 40 hours and they paid me 40 hours, how I worked those 40 hours isn't illegal. Not giving you a lunch is, though, I'm pretty sure. No, because unfortunately, no. labor laws, especially regarding the specifics on your right to certain breaks, is mandated by the state, and Florida is incredibly lax. If you're wanting, yeah, much. if you're wanting better labor laws, you would have to go to like, unfortunately, states that are much more expensive to live in, such as New York, California, Oregon, and Washington. Well, I mean, not giving it's, like lunch is illegal here in Indiana. It is, but when I called the person and I spoke to her, she said that so long as they're like. Any break under 20 minutes, ha under 20 minutes has to be paid. Anything over 20 minutes does not, aka lunch. However, there is no requirement that says I am, like, there's no requirement on, on, on l my lunch time. And they said that even, and I was like, so even though on paper it looks like I took a lunch and I didn't, she's like, well, did you get, the issue is, did you get paid? I was like, well, I worked nine hours, even though on paper it says I worked eight, and to today I work seven hours, but it says I work eight, but it equates to 40 by all technicalities. She's like, are you getting paid for 40 hours? I was, yeah, she's like, well, unfortunately, because you're getting paid the 40 hours, and on paper you work 40 hours and you're only required to work 40 hours, you did technically work your 40 hours. Now, if they hadn't paid you for that time at all, then we could step in, but you're being paid for 40 hours, so there's nothing we could do. Yeah, no, unfortunately. Unfortunately the, unfortunately, the system, especially in a lot of states, is like that here in the U.S., where a lot of places, a lot of places get away with basically forced labor not only like it's especially a problem with part-time and full-time workers that are not salaried to where they're able to bend the rules a bit on what counts as normal work and what counts as overtime and then it just gets even worse when it comes to you being salaried because if you're salaried and i see this with my with my managers in retail if you're salaried, good fucking luck actually having income that actually fits your fucking job, because they will they will work you twice to thrice the amount of hours per week, and get angry at you when you want to use your vacay. Oh no, that's that's the, in retail. Um, that is a very common issue. Um, going. Mm -hmm. Getting promoted to a manager is actually a demotion in wage due to how many hours you have to work. Most managers per hour work, um, uh, make less than their employees. Yep. I'm surprised you did not know that. No, that was exactly what I was... A lot of people don't want to get promoted to manager. That was exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to get promoted to manager for that exact reason. Or they'll quit their managerial job for a lower, um position oh that's what happened to me my very very first job they tried to offer me a manager's position and i was like huh, where is it and what the fuck because i was at the front desk i got promoted to receptionist or not rece reservation and reservation i got every single holiday off paid my birthday off paid and i didn't work weekends and i was just in and out at the front desk, you didn't have that. So I was like, where is the manager's position that you're trying to offer me? Oh, at the front desk, working your old shift. I was like, ah, no. I absolutely refuse. Because I was like, that is salary. And I've seen my manager stay overtime. And they don't get paid that overtime. Whereas I would. So no. No, no fucking thank you. I'm not gonna... I declined it, and they were confused why I declined it, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, um, Here. let's see. Uh, Celine has actually been giving some, uh, some thoughts on the topic. Uh, sadly, holiday time is not required by U.S. law. Uh, they can't, however, deny you a lunch break. The lunch break thing is a federal issue. For me, salary is nice because now I'm not penalized financially, 
when Debbie's parents decide that they don't that they don't want to sober up for a visit. For context, she is a social worker, I believe. Correct. Yes. She's a social worker. social worker. Yep. But we're in two different places. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know. Yeah, because unfortunately, a lot of shit varies state to state. Mm -hmm. But uh, the uh. Yeah, like, but I've been having a good day today, but yeah, no, the, the literal thought when I remember that I have to go to work tomorrow has literally been making uh, my my chest tighten until I stop thinking about it. That's how bad it is. And But yeah, that's because I was called unreliable, I was written up, and they also did not give me a copy of the write-up, mind you. And no! I was, not, I was also not stupid. When I was asked to sign it, they pre-signed it, so they have been sitting on that for two days because it was signed the sixth, and no. I got written up on the on That the is shady as fuck. To me, yeah, that they... sounds like writing on the wall. You, I know you've been looking for a job. I hope that you're able to find a job soon because it sounds like they are wanting to find every excuse to have you out. They, they do want me out, because they tell me that they don't trust me. And then they tell me that I'm not to be trusted by myself at any point in period of time. Why? But what yet, proof do they have? Do they have, like, video footage or any documentation no, or proof when it, comes to your, then, when it comes to, like, your computer records or anything to prove no, that, they, the that they have reason to suspect that you are unreliable? If not, no, that a... honestly, especially if they are spreading it in the ha in the workplace and are and are affecting your collaboration and your ability to work with others, and also how other people, especially your clients, perceive you, that could be arguably uh, which one is written and which one is spoken, libel or slander. Uh, uh, slander is slander spoken. Is spoken. Yeah. Because here's the thing. When everybody left my old office, I was like, okay, I'm expecting the, okay, now you have to go back thing. But from the beginning, they're like, forget about your old office. You're never going back to your old office. Da -da -da -da. Then when something went wrong and they realized that nobody but me knew what to do to step in, they're like, we need your, we need your help and you're the only one that can help us. So I was like, okay. So I did that. And then when they left, they're like, yeah, you, you're coming here only in the afternoons, but you're in a quote-unquote hybrid position. You're going to be here in the morning and there over there. So I'm like, okay, so you guys are making me work the job of two people, but only wanting to pay me one. And you haven't promoted me. You refuse to promote me, but you keep telling me how impressed you are with my work. And the fact that my co-workers have said that I've helped them with some of their projects and stuff. But you still refuse to promote me. But you want me to do all this work, and then you come up to me and you tell me, Oh, well, actually, from this point on, we need you here. Because you're the only one who can communicate with the community, you know the people, you know how the way this place is run, da 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 And then they're like, when they asked me, why don't you want to stay? And one of the things was like, well, I'm comfortable again. They asked, again? Comfortable again? When were you uncomfortable? I was like, with my with my old supervisor. He's gone now, so I can tell you. And they're like, what about it made you uncomfortable? I tried to say one thing, and that was just like, he was micromanaging me. And they were like, well, you deserve to be micromanaged. No. Because we, we give you tasks, and you're so slow, and you don't want to do them. And when you don't want to do them, you have to be reminded. And I'm like, well, slow? Okay, especially like, with that wording coming from someone that is fucking disabled... If they said that shit to someone that especially has disabilities on their medical record, that would be discrimination and their asses would be fucking grass. Oh yeah, but that's the thing. And then the quote-unquote proof that I was unreliable when they wrote me up was a list of stuff and I'm like, okay, so some of this is my workman's comp. One of this was literally the most recent one where my ankle was hurting. I called and out on that one. 
And they were like, oh, well, we know that some of these were planned and some of these are medical. I'm like, then why are they being brought up? And why are you showing me that they're on here? Not to mention one of the other things on here is a trip I'm taking in January that you told me to put in the system and was approved and hasn't happened yet. Yeah, no, the mm. fact that they are pulling shit like this, they're they're pull they're pulling stuff that they had approved, and yet making you take responsibility for it and saying you're lazy for something that they are allowing, that is some bass awkward shit. Um yeah. Celine Not says let's see. Yeah. Um, uh, let's okay. Oh Mari, big hugs for you, girl. They don't deserve you, you heckin' sweetie. This is possibly defamation, libel in this case, if, uh, since there's context of it being written as well. Uh, defamation either way. If they're denying you things because of a worker's comp, pretty sure that counts as retaliation. I was about to say, that is not only retaliation, but also- And especially considering the fact that, unfortunately, since you signed it, even though, even though with the context of, like, you knew that it was already pre-written and you felt coerced to have to sign it, Unfortunately, that might hurt you a little bit if you try and it's set up a case. Write up because sometimes, technically, when you sign it, it's meant to be an acknowledgement, and it should say that in the write up. But if it doesn't, you can actually add. Um, you can sign it and add acknowledged only, saying you acknowledge the write up, but you don't agree with it. Um, because the thing was, thing they didn't do. give me a choice. Yeah, they didn't yeah. give me a choice. They just. Slip, they just handed it to me, put a pin in here, like, sign this. They let me read it prior to, but they didn't offer to give me a copy of it. The fact that they also didn't give you a copy, if you are not able to get a copy at some point, like, especially because I know this is going to take um, a lot of energy and a lot of places honestly take advantage of this, trying to actually stick up for yourself federally takes way too much effort emotionally and financially. So they want to use oh, that to their advantage gonna... to fucking break you and make you complicit. Well, what yeah, they're doing is they're looking to fire her. I can tell you right now, they're looking to fire her. What they're doing right now is bulking up her, um... They use, like, little infractions to bulk up your basically file so that they can... It looks like they have more justification to fire you than they did. So they will, they will essentially put everything they possibly can as an infraction, so that it looks worse off when you try if you try to take it to court. That's exactly what's happening, and a lot of places actually sorry, do it, Celine. and it's actually technically illegal in many states. Sorry, Celine. I I didn't mean to bring this up and ruin your chill stream. I have I have a simple answer I answered as a solution. Molotov cocktail. I know you <laughs> no. I know you mean that jokingly, but for legal reasons, Daddy Twitch, Daddy YouTube, anywhere, that is a joke. No, I was talking about the alcoholic drink, Wink. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ruin a chill stream. Hey. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're good. Nothing. You didn't ruin anything for me. Something else did, though. Do I dare ask? I'm going to type it to you. Okay. Uh, where are you huh. on my here? Yeah. Today just uh. seems to be a day for people. <laughs> I I really but, hope like, that things get better, cause fucking nope. hell. Like I didn't low key run it already because of me ranting about insomnia and shit. Dude, don't worry. Yeah, and Mari, oh, you didn't ruin anything, especially with Celine or anyone being overstimulated to where they've needed to like mute or anything to take a break for themselves. It is a small thing. It's a self care thing for everyone. No one's angry. No one's taking anything out on you, let alone anyone here. And if anyone would take things out on you, they'll get disciplined if and if they want to be dicks about it straight up banned because we're not going to tolerate that i'll say yeah i just like that. 
Hi, Mishka, baby. See, even Mishka's like, don't worry, Mama, just give me head pets. She literally came up to me and shoved her nose in my arm. Haha, <laughs> I called it. Sweetheart. Hi. But yeah, today I've been playing therapist, so this is just... No, I, I feel ya. When, yeah. when you're I, well, kind of I the therapist... mind it. Yeah, when you're at... Oh. When you're... Kind of sort of the therapist friend. Even the therapist friend needs a therapist friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah therapist but I, needs I think a therapist. That, like, I told, like I told everybody that vented, I do not mind if I had an issue with it. I would have told you I had an issue with it. I would have asked you to stop. I would have been very polite about it, but I would have told you to stop. Yeah. If you need to vent, if you need to do anything like that, go for it. But it hits everyone. My partner's had a day. Opal's had a day. Monkeys and Uncle had a day. Poor Creepy had a day with Baby Lady. A late, for context, Lady is his puppy. Aww. Aww. Lady as in, like, Lady of the Tramp? I don't know where he got the name Lady, but it is Lady, like, L-A-D-Y. So yeah. She, uh... uh... She got bit by a snake, and... <sighs> Neither no. he nor his wife knew if it was a venomous snake or not. Oh no, Same. baby! Yep. So and she she's one years old. She's Sweetie. a year old. Puppy. So, yeah. So oh, they they rushed her. Well, they don't. She was on a walk, and she got bit. And but when they took her to the emergency room, the vet had the audacity to tell Creepy. It's a two-hour wait. Oh, but you know, you next time you bring her here, you should have made an appointment if you wanted her to get seen that badly. Wow! I would have punched that. I would have punched that fuck. Yeah, how can you yeah, make his... an appointment for an emergency? Those exactly. are two completely he... different circumstances. And he took her to an emergency back clinic, but mind you, his wife was like, go outside. His wife had to be like, tell him, go outside. He's like, today is not the day for this shit. Creepy's already had a bad day prior, so when he did that and then they told him that about his dog, she was like, go outside. So she had to send him out to keep him from doing something. So I was like, poor Creepy's not having, nobody's not having my poor partner. If he had gone so off on, if he had gone off on that vet, Honestly, I felt, given the context, it would be justified. Oh, yeah. It would, but... Uh, creepy, again... It doesn't exactly help again, the situation. It doesn't, and Creepy was trying, he were trying, to be rational. So, his wife told him to go wait outside to cool off while she handled it. Uh, they couldn't tell for sure... She got some antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. They're keeping an eye out on it to see, but they couldn't definitively say if she was bit by something venomous or not. Yeah, okay. and you can't really use any venom unless you know what species of snake it was. Right. Yeah, which they don't know. So they're keeping an eye on her. They the, took her home. At the same time, though, like, given the fact that you haven't heard any extra news... I would hope that it wasn't a venomous bite, because typically, from what I know, venom can run through a dog system relatively quickly. Yeah, but he says that she only had light swelling and they didn't see any blackening of the skin where she was bit, so... That's good. Yeah, so like I said, I, I've been letting everybody, you know, tell me what they need to tell me. And I'm there for them, it's fine. It was a good distraction for myself. But... I, again, yeah. I, so that was Creepy's day, and then my partner... Oh, My partner wanted to get his car detailed, but he left his wallet and his cell phone in the car. Oh, and by no. the time he remembered, the guy, the, the guy took his car to go get detailed, and when he remembered that they were in there, he tried to flag the guy down, and he drove off. So he had his wallet, and his cell phone in his car, which was getting detailed. Then he had to go home and deal with the dogs. And he had to take all the dogs to the vet to get their shots and get looked at. Oh, and and all this in the... Call me, I'll be back. Okay. Okay. 
So, uh, just... He dealt with all of that, and he's introverted. So he was... It was... It, you know, that's a lot for him. So... Yeah, it was his day. And I was like, I can't help anybody! Uh, just being there to listen is enough help. Right. Hmm, that's the small bit of my world. And again, that small little vent rant thing here was just a small thing, but three day weekend or three day week, four day weekend. And I get to eat my grandmother's cooking for Thanksgiving. Ooh. I just can't bring Mishka with me. Oh, does your does your grandma not like dogs? She doesn't mind them, but she doesn't really like animals. However, Pepito, my uncle, is terrified of dogs. Uh... And he is he is mentally five years old. Uh, so he's intellectually disabled. Mm-hmm. So he there's no way for him to get over his fear. And I don't want to stress him out or upset him, so I can't bring her. Oh. Okay. On a potentially slightly happier subject, because I'm curious on this going into linguistics and like spanish i know tío and tía mean uncle and aunt abuela and abuelo mean like grandma and grandpa what does pepito mm -hmm. mean uh pepito is his technical nickname but we call him that's his name pepe his name is his name is pepe ah okay but he has a nickname of a nickname which is why I could say it out loud. Pepe is his nickname that everybody calls him. I call him Pepito. No, that makes sense. Ito. Yeah, yeah, cause Ito like Ito, is... Ito and Ita are like a little, a cute marker on like the end. So like I hear like Abuelito or Abuelita sometimes as well. Yeah, it's, 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 uh... what is the right word here? It's a term of endearment. Yeah. Nanda Pepito. He's my favorite. It's that's why I always for context I always have to tell people like, yes, he's my uncle. And then I never call him that ever again when I bring him up in conversation. <laughs> because yeah, he's my uncle, but I never call him that. But then I have to remember it's like people don't know who he is. <laughs> people don't know. He got so happy when he saw me. Aww. That's awesome. Yeah, he, uh, when did I go? He goes, um, not this week, but last week or two weeks ago, I went to go visit my, my grandparents and my, and Pepito, and in true grandma fashion, she made me breakfast. <laughs> She's like, have you eaten? I was like, yes. Do you want to eat some food? I was like, sure. You're making breakfast? Sure. If it's yours, and in yes. true grandma and in true grandma fashion, she's like, what would you like? Would you like this, 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 this? I was like, and she gave me that. She asked, she's like, now do you want a tortilla or do you want runny eggs? And I was like, oh. tortilla. And then she just gave me, she's like, okay. And she gave me this look and I was like, on second thought. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, mm -hmm. like, like mm -hmm. alright give me a sec because she she made runny eggs for me Ooh. Uh, let's see runny eggs um, corned beef hash sausages hash browns garlic bread oh ho, ho. that and sounds then, nice for breakfast Yes. Oi, 
Listen. Breakfast is literally just breaking the fast. You can have whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. I know, and but then... I, 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 I'm just getting confused. It's okay. Yeah. And then when she served me, she's right before I broke it to bed, she's like, hold up, came over and sprinkled salt right on top of the eggs so that when I would break the yolk, the salt would go in the yolk. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elk. My grandma has good food. Wait, what? And she served me a whole plate. She served me a whole plate. She also gave me um, chocolate milk and orange juice. Oh! Oh, that's amazing. And also, my oh. my Grammy makes good food too. She makes some of the best biscuits and and bacon gravy. Ooh! Bacon gravy? Yeah. Instead, since I don't care for sausage, she uses bacon grease. Oh, she that's a southern thing right there. Well, yeah, because what she does is she puts the bacon grease in the pan, and she puts the flour in the pan, too, and makes a roux. Slowly adds the milk, adds the salt, <laughs> adds the pepper. Stirs it all up until it's nice and thick with two C's. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the biscuits. And I typically like ripping up my biscuits and putting them in a bowl and having the gravy gravy on top of them and eating it with a fork. Yeah, I know I'm weird. But um <laughs> No, the funny part is while I was eating, my grandpa looked at me and there was like a piece of sausage he couldn't finish and he just silently looked like he stabs it with a fork silently like reaches over like you want it. <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't say anything. He just stabs it, brings it over, plops it on my plate and I'm just like offer accepted. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, Grammy does the same thing with bacon. My Grammy does yes. the same thing with bacon for me since she's not a huge meat eater and since most places like say if we go out for breakfast, most places do not make her bacon right even when she tells them make it a charcoal bruquette. What the fuck? My Grammy likes her bacon burnt. Uh, More power <laughs> to her. I mean, it's also one of the few ways to get her to eat meat since she, get, she's, she, well, can, when you live, when you live in rural Tennessee for most of your childhood and have to, and have to watch the animals getting butchered right in front of you. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. But we've been trying to go like, Grammy, you still need protein. Oh, stone. I feel her on that one though, but um, but yeah. Oh, I forgot to ask my grandma about her thirty-day cake. Oh, thirty-day cake. Thirty-day cake. Yeah, I... Mm-hmm. I am the confused. I'm assuming For... it's a I cake was... that it takes a month to make. Yeah, and it yeah, just like Magnus, Magnus, it's Magnus. Just like Magnus said, it's a fermented cake. Oh, it's a fermented. Was... Yep, that's why it takes 30 days. Okay, so I was half right. Explained... Yeah, my grandmother, because I asked her, I was like, when she told me about it, I was like, Mishka, get your foot out your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like when you were talking to, to your grandma, you were like, hey, Mishka, get your foot out your mouth. Get over here. Get your foot out your goddamn mouth. Stop it. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> She literally started chewing fast. She looked at me, it started chewing faster, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I love your looking dog. looking at you, you little shit. I'm trying to tell a story, I'm looking at you, I tell you to get your foot out your mouth so you chew faster. I fucking love your dog! <laughs> anyway, but... She is, but she's... What the fuck? I don't know. No, I'm not giving you butt pats for that. I literally <laughs> told you to take your foot out your mouth and you chew faster. It took you two minutes to listen. Sit your ass down. No, sit your fucking ass down. <laughs> You're still not listening. There you go. Mishka sit is there. such a brat and I love her. I swear. If I ever start to... Like you like brats. 
If I ever start getting confident in, like, drawing animals, I feel like I or at least someone needs to draw you, like, a stream mascot version of Mishka. Do it. I have two mascots, apparently. I have Mishka and Koda. Aww. Mishka's just the more vocal of the two. Yeah. yeah Koda just really chills on my shoulder. Vocal. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. And when he's vocal, there's an issue. But, uh... Yeah, I have to have my grandmother explain what the fuck a 30-day cake was. And she got so happy. She's like, Aww. let me tell you, child. And she just started, she's like, well, first you gotta do this. And she's like, the very first time I did a 30-day cake, I made your mother grab the camcorder and record it every single day. What I was doing, how I was doing it. I was checking on it. She's like, usually by day 10, that shit is strong enough to knock you on your ass. That's how you know it's good. And she... <laughs> and I just never heard of 30-day cake until now. I didn't either. Again, my grandmother had to explain it. And it's exactly that. You start making the cake. And every single day, you do a little bit more. When the more it ferments, the more you have to stir it and shake it. Make sure you get the, sh the scum off the top. Yeah, and... um, because basically what you're doing is instead of using like a leavening agent, like say baking soda or something like that, you're letting it ferment and which will make it naturally rise. Mm-hmm. Rise. Up. Start picking. But um, so very called, literally, uh, there's also something it's called a friendship bread. Um, you make with um, obviously usually pass around friends or like family or something. Um, where you you create what's called a start, um, which is um, and then you have to nope. eat it. A start is yeast. Nope. Um, it's mm -hmm. a God yeast it. um thing, and um, each day you have to like add like uh, flour to it and stuff like that to give the yeast food, um, flour or like honey and stuff like that, and basically you end up making um, uh, I guess it's. You have to do the same thing for sourdough. You're literally just fermenting yeast um, into a leavening agent, and then after so many days, you um, use it and make a uh, bread. God damn it, you son of a bitch. Stop nosing at me. No, don't roll over, you fucking whore. <laughs> I am not. I am going to whip you with this cord. Fucking... Not off. You don't get belly rubs because you're being a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I was about to say. Well, a bitch is a is. She has to be a dog in heat. She's not in heat. She's just annoying. Ah. Did you chew your fucking claws to a nub? This is why I told you to stop fucking with your face. Oh, Bitch God. got anxiety. No, I just forgot to give her her bath today, and I think she's start. There's like probably some irritants in her skin. Ah. Uh. But it's too late to give her her bath at this point. But at the same time, she's going, "Mom, I'm a stinky girl." She actually, you know, ironically, she doesn't stink. It's just that, it's just her skin is irritated. I have to hold your foot hostage. She Let has go. allergies, basically. Okay. Yeah, I'd be allergic being in Florida too. <laughs> it, it's her dander. Uh, if if I don't give her a bath every two weeks, uh, she starts getting dander buildup, and it it, it makes her irritated. I'm just sorry, I, the first thing I thought of, like, wait, the dog's allergic to itself? What have you been doing to your fucking claws? Why are they like this? You need to get these fucking shits trimmed, my girl. Oh, your fur has been hiding out. They're wrong. Your fur has just been hiding out. Oh... You know how much her grooming bill is? I'm guessing a lot. Fifteen bucks. Ooh. Uh, you 
Yep, 15 bucks. 15. I'm one five. 15. I'm five. Yep. It's just... Well, it's because the only thing they do, because you can't shave her, you can't clip her anything, all they can do is shave her pop hats and clip her nails. That's it. 15 bucks. That's all it costs me. I wash her at home. I give her baths at home. I am hungry, but it's late at night. A good thing considering how vocal. She's had uh, a, some professional grooming before, and she enjoys the bath. Aww. Aww. Oh, I hope my grandma lets me taste test the, uh, the, the sangria cake? this year. No, the cake's in Puerto Rico, and I'm sure it's gone at this point. Ah. Uh, what I want to taste is the sangria, so I can taste test it. Ooh. I see it's darkness. Huh? Where? Oh. On Magnus's stream. I oh. see it's darkness. Uh, they turned off uh, their camera to because they have to grab something. Hello, darkness, my Hello, old friend. friend. I come to talk to you again. <laughs> I can't remember the rest because the voice is softly creeping. If ah, uh, I should I probably do that the next. The disturbed version over the original. I like both. Granted, they are both quite good. <laughs> Ugh. Mari, help, I'm getting old. What? Help, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm gonna dump you in lard and preserve you. I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> I already have my own lard in my skin. <laughs> I started fucking here from Mari. I am going to cover you with lard and preserve you. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you said help. This is the only way I can help. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Well, this is what I get for asking my, the one person I know is my elder here. Excuse the fuck out of me! <laughs> well, aren't you like a year older than me? Boy. Girl. Creature. <laughs> Most welcome. Wait. Uh, oh! That means that you get some early bird incentives. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, that's how you do it. It's through the Ko-Fi. Why did I not figure it out? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> By the yeah, way, Rose, yeah, is there a way to keep half Kofi and hold it until, like, a certain date? Nope. Damn. Ah. <laughs> You're gonna have to budget it yourself on your own end. I'll just tell my mom to remove it and put it up for me. It's easier to do it that way. I need to get a savings account eventually, but I can just transfer money to a fuck. Needing to rest, um, the back, because, uh, I've been mute this entire time, trying to find my wallet. Oh no! No. It's somewhere in my room. I mean, I feel you with that, though. There's so many times where I forget where I put my wallet. 
namely because a lot of my a lot of my storage space is like cubbies which have shadow and my wallet is black so it makes trying to find it a little difficult I believe it I'm probably gonna be putting stickers on it just be like basically like a target on it be like hey look over here bitch <laughs> Well, since the whole rearrangement of my room, I don't know where it went. Oh no! Do you think you would put it in like a bat, like a, a bathroom, or uh, in the kitchen on like a countertop? No, I would. I generally keep everything in my room. Have you checked all of your pockets from your laundry? Yep. <laughs> Have you checked your sock drawer? Yes, I said drawer. I, I don't actually have a lot of space or any space to put most of my clothing. Hmm. Have you tried invading France for money? I guess like. No, I mean, summer. of course you have. You play paradox games. Yes. No, I must like I will find it eventually. You don't work yeah, or do. go to uh, school tomorrow, do you? Uh, I have school tomorrow. Ah. Uh. Oh, like I have my tra um my transport card for my uh for the train. Okay, I that's just need good. to put money on it. Oh, you can't do that digitally? Uh... No. Damn. Is, it is the train going to be part of your training arc? I, it just take, I just cast a train. Man! The trip to my train... I... A trip by train to school is like an hour. So. Because it's in because my uh, school is in the city. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Damn darn city slickers. When Magnus gets back, they're gonna kill me. Why? Uh, what, 8 I, of the goal. From you yourself. Well, I mean, 1% I mean, from Kala. Okay, hold on. Alright, you know what? I paused my game. Time is not moving. So, I'm going to go over and see exactly... So you're gonna hear me. <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne. Oh. And I'm getting picked up by their, uh, thing. <laughs> oh no, Road has become the Magnus. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Look and look see. And look see what see. The bootsy you? bootsy. Yo says that you're going to hate them. I said kill me, not hate me. I was going to look at it myself before you got here. Ch check the notification. Upper right. Yeah. Upper right. Click on it, and it should tell you how much. I could have just told you. I scrolled down and it showed me. <laughs> yes. Friends help oh. friends not be food. Wow. 
whopper, whopper, whopper. Dinner double, triple whopper. I really need to. Okay, what is the. What was the $10 thing? I gave you all the things. I go! I have to go pull it up. Okay. I mean, jeez. You act like I have it fucking memorized when I can't remember numbers worth shit. Oh, a Celtic Draw Tarot greeting. And a $25 voucher to your Kofi. That's 50, not 10. Joe's donated 50! Okay. You said 10 earlier. I'm like, what? I was adding stuff in my head. Oh, uh, okay. $10 to the custom floor message. Eh. Tired. You got this. I believe I in you. I'm surprised you came over here when you know I've had a camera. It was on, luckily, but still. Yeah, it wasn't on, so that's why I went over there. I saw an advantage and I took it. That is drying. Oh gosh, this is more than I should read. Fuck. My least favorite thing. <laughs> Oh, I did bring it back. Okay. <laughs> I lost my freaking shit in the other room. Like all those times, it's just gone. Like, why did I come in this room again? Mood. Well, this wasn't that. It was literally I thought I'd left my um little bowl and uh, glue brush in the bathroom because I. I used glue earlier with the brush, and whenever you use glue on a brush, you have to wash it immediately, or else you end up with a paddle. There. Theater child. Meow. What the hell delicious monstrosity did is this that I found? That's what? not what I was gonna ask, but okay. I mean, the, the theater child, Mayor? Yes, theater child. Tell me for the love of God that you know cats don't dance. <laughs> I've heard of it. I haven't been able to. Uh, <gasps> I haven't been able to what? see it. I have not been able to see cats don't dance. In in Rhodes, uh, in Rhodes defense, he is not in our advanced age. I will fucking pimp slap you. At the same time, <laughs> I. At the same time, unfortunately, we all know that there's folks in our generation that don't know Greece. That don't know cats, that don't know sound of music, that don't know follies, that don't know my fair lady, that don't know all of them. The... Well, I know of them, but I don't know. I've never seen the last two. Mm. I used to be obsessed with the original cats. I'm pretty sure that's how I either became or discovered that I'm a furry. What? <laughs> <laughs> the original cats. I. There, a day did not go by. No, that's not the part. I just, the part that made me go, what was your furry? I'm a Neko. 
I mean, I, being I, a Neko does not automatically mean that you're a furry, because honestly, a yeah, lot of folks in the furry community would, but if, do if not if include Kemono. I would definitely go into full fur mode if I could. Well, I sent you a thing, Road. Check it out real quick. It's like seven seconds. I Okay. It's going to be heard on... Actually, no, I can have it it's, it's not going to be heard on stream. Uh, <laughs> but, um, by the way, the thing that I found was <gasps> bacon, yes! cheddar, beer, bit bread. Yes, I love this owl. Drugs. Which Drugs. Owl? The drag owl. I think I've seen it. What you're saying is... Mari, send it. <laughs> it's seven seconds. Watch it. Drugs. Drugs. I swear, I really need to figure out a way to, like, start doing clips inside OBS when I do Picardo shit. Just so that I can, so that I don't have to go through the effort of, like, manually going through my streams to get a clip and highlight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Um, they had, they had, I think they're doing their like Black Friday sale early or something, but a huge sale and like all their paper craft stuff is, was like 50% on sale. And I've been looking into getting like stuff to like try to emboss because I want to make journals and I thought it'd be cool to be able to like emboss, like be able to, because I want to do custom journals. Um, I'm going to be opening up like commissions on my, um, Kofi, um, still getting it all set up and everything, and part of me doing this is practicing to be able to, um, I'm making gifts for everyone because I wanted to anyway, but also it's practice to, um, know what I'm doing better, basically. So basically you're pulling the same shit that I did before starting my Life to D commissions, making gifts for a whole bunch of people to learn the ropes and start feeling comfortable finding my style and ways of doing things before I go, okay, I'm going to throw myself to the wolves. Yes. Except this is more just... I don't know. Reverse. <laughs> reverse. I, I, I found was a wanting reverse to do, get stuff. into this before thinking of doing commissions. Um, and I, I wanted to like get stuff for... Uh, to do this just as a hobby, because I do enjoy bookbinding and stuff, and then I realized... I, I got the stuff and was like, oh, I should use this to make gifts for people. And then, uh, then I realized, uh, oh, I could probably do commissions for this. I don't know how many people are going to buy commissions because, to be fair, like, the supplies for book finding are not exactly cheap. And also, like, one book takes me, like, over five hours. So... The minimum it could be, uh, is like 75, honestly. Doing like a fair wage per hour and stuff. So book, like handmade journals like these are not cheap. And there's a very good reason. It takes a fucking time. A lot of it. And it's not really something you can just streamline either. <laughs> you good, Mari? Yos, where are you? Yeah. I haven't seen that in like forever. I have, Wait. I have been summoned. Oh, Elk, are you talking about yes. the drugs? No, no, no. There's. Hey, where's Kala? Wait, it's two people right now. Uh. uh I'll look so at that these... after we're out of this because I I can't have too many too many sounds at once. Oh, cats don't dance. Derp. What about cats still dance? Uh, Elk has seen it, but uh, it's been a long while since they've seen it. Finally, someone remembers. 
stop well, turning you your ass to me. You know, do a commission or something for journals, but I do like doing this. Wait. Just, I also don't want to like uh, undersell myself. We both myself. have it on VHS. Yeah. <gasps> hey, yo. I still have a lot of my VHS collection. Same. Lucky. And in that collection includes the movie, The Beatles, The Yellow Submarine. You think you can notice Ren likes to peek a lot with y'all. And apparently to the point to where we don't fucking notice until you fucking say shit. Cause we'll randomly just hear him and we have fucking Serenity who's like a fucking... Rendar? Like a dog who Rendar! <laughs> Wait, what? Yo just I said Rendar. <laughs> yes. Like, I sense the Ren, I must come out. <laughs> and he has a pretty, um, he has a pretty, um, distinct voice. nasality. Yes. Because it's always either Ren or Finn, and usually bets are on Ren. Yeah, Finn knows better than to front when I'm on stream. Well, yeah, but. Yep. Even then, uh, usually, unless you're doing something that's like, uh, like, certain games or something, it's usually around. Yeah. It's a few very specific things that Finn comes out for, and it's not often. Well, it's often been because there hasn't been a lot of time to let Finn do his, do their thing. Yeah. Oh, I am almost exhausted. Oh shit, it's almost midnight in game. Fuck! <laughs> it's almost midnight in real life, too. Um. Fuck, I gotta get home. I gotta get home. I gotta get home or I'm gonna pass out and lose my items. Fuck! Others Fuck. Speak, but we can't always tell their voice as well as Ren. But Ren's fronted so often that it's a lot easier for us to. Yeah. And because of how often he peeks, we're getting used to how your voices sound combined. Mmm. Because, like, it changes the quality of the voice when, um, uh, people pee. Let me see. Let me so, sleep. Like, Let me sleep. Yes. Because it literally sounds like a combo of you plus whoever is peeing. It's not yeah. really hard to differentiate unless they do it all the time. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> then there's you who can't tell who's peeking with us ever. Because I'm not used to having to notice that and it's really difficult to get used to. I already struggle enough with figuring out, like, people's emotions and intent, not because of alexithemia, but because of fucking drama. You realize I've never had to do that with people either. I just do it. I don't fucking know how. It's an oh, something different. I feel a disturbance in the force. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm just more aware and observational than you. Probably. You just don't pay attention. I have other things to attend to, okay? Apparently, all other things to attend to are you. <laughs> oh well. Take that how you will. Oh well. Okay, I need to look at this. To be fair, I can be completely focused on something else and hear a change in your voice and notice. Like, it, it's not even always conscious. <laughs> like, I am hyper fixated, and unless I literally have something playing, so I can't hear you at all, I can tell. Immediately. I feel like it harkens back to 
how easily understimmed you are compared to how overly how easily overstimmed we get. So it's like you are a lot more open to taking in extra info. Whereas we don't. Because, like, you notice sometimes how we get a little grouchy when we get interrupted when listening to a video or, like, a song at, like, we've been listening to a song on repeat. No, I never would have guessed. You don't have to be that snide. Like, Jesus, so sassy. Try and <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let me live my fucking twink life, bitch. Twink? Best twink, best what? twink I know. <laughs> twink, twink? Twink. I said, let me live my twink life, bitch. Oh, I thought you were talking about Lee. I just heard twink and I was like, wait, are you a twink? I like calling myself twink. <laughs> Wouldn't you be a twonk? Cause... Cause you tall! I'm like five foot four. Yeah, they're not a tall. <laughs> you know, they've thought of like their character- their, their character like Magnus technically being tall, although they're thinking that the height more comes from their wings. Having him seven foot tall, but he's actually five foot four. And the only uh, reason he's seven foot just... is because his wings are big. Yes. His wings make him seven foot and intimidating. I feel like we were talking about something and got derailed, but I can't remember what the original topic was. Twink. Oh yeah, twink. I mean, before that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there was a topic Twinks. before that? Twinks. Oh yeah, you getting um snippy. When you get interrupted. Yeah. It's because yeah. I get so much more easily overstimulated, especially because when I I'm realizing it's because when my brain hyper focuses on something, like what other people see as way too much noise, especially if I'm listening to like something that's like deathcore, what neurotypicals may consider, oh, that's too much. That is that becomes such a hyper fixation for me that it is a comfort. Oh yeah. Um, and honestly, I think it's less what you were talking about with us. It's more, um, I think we're a bit hyper vigilant. Mm. Especially lately. Um, and keep in mind, literally our entire job is taking care of people. Yeah. So we have to pay attention. I 
they can't just go the fuck out at work and people get neglected. Because that could literally end up with someone with an infection. And if my negligence ends up causing that, for one thing, it's guilty as fuck, but for another, I could get in serious fucking trouble. Yeah. And in general, I think I'm a lot more observational than you. Like, not even just like hyper fixation or anything, just in general. Name? At, at least for me, I feel it's namely because. When I am told that I that I need to do something, or or if my brain tells me that I need to do something, my brain does my best to focus on that specifically. Because if I don't get that goal done, I often get disciplined or even treated poorly because I don't get it done, especially in the preferences that other people like. So I can't really focus on what's around me because trying to focus on what's around me could lead to me getting hurt. No, what I mean is say you're unloading the dishwasher. There's a dish in there that has a bit of food particles still on it that didn't quite get clean. You don't notice that I do. Right. That's what I mean. Or like, there's still chocolate milk in the freaking cup and it's stuck to the cup itself because it got basically fused to the cup. I notice that when I'm unloading the dishwasher, put it aside to be rewashed. I've pulled, when you unloaded, I've pulled dishes out of the, like cups out of the cabinet that still had residue in them. That's what I mean by observational. That's hey. why I don't trust dishwashers. It only does that with chocolate milk. Really. I have to. I used to also be. I hate to say it like this. I used to be a professional I him dishwasher. To rinse his chocolate milk, and he doesn't. What? That I keep telling you to rinse it whenever you have anything with the milk, and you don't. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm hey, not doing that on purpose. Dishwasher. I know you're not. I'm teasing you, bitch. I'm, paranoid I'm not, like, accusing you or anything. I'm just telling you. <laughs> okay. I keep telling you for a very good reason, and it's because we end up with chocolate fused into our dishes. I mean, I know the Top Hat likes chocolate, especially as chocolate milk, so what's the issue? I say that completely joking. I'll say fucking food poisoning, bitch. We don't want to be part of a chubby emu video here. <laughs> the fuck? Chubby emu! Oh, have you not heard of chubby emu? No. <gasps> Magnus. Magnus. I'm, I'm... Wait, are you calling me a bitch or him a bitch? Him. Oh. Oh. You doing okay? And why is Kalidora out of breath? I found it. You found it? Where was it? In my tiny rice cooker. Oh! Um, wait, 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 Why was your wallet in your rice cooker? Why the fuck was it in your rice cooker? Because of, because the rearranging of the room, I had to move stuff Okay, I gotta write this down for myself for a log so that I can cut this as my own clip, because holy fuck. Oh, goodness. Yeah, uh, I don't use the rice cooker. It's just when I I, I have it for. When Why I'm did I use the rice cooker? Huh? Why did you use the rice cooker? You can eat a rice cooker. I'll take it off. Because your I hand. live at home with my mum. I uh... have a bigger one. Ah. Uh... Yeah, that's why I don't use my rice cooker. Oh my. <laughs> I, I just this have one, and it was in the, there. Oh, what the fuck was it? The fucking cooking oil in the fridge incident. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> that doesn't explain oil. what... Well, the reason why it was placed in there, because when I was mo moving stuff around, I had to put stuff in 
to be easier to transport. It's still, the rice cooker still has my um, Chinese money jar in it as well, and a beanie. So <laughs> that's why it just happens when you're moving shit around the house. Yeah. Oh no, we get that. Not judging. Well, Elk wanted an explanation, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like nice to easy. Yay! Yeah. Uh. Um. But um. My what happened with true. us was I was cooking. I think it was just like simple like breakfast eggs and stuff. And I couldn't find the cooking oil. Like afterwards, I was trying to put everything away, and I couldn't find the cooking oil. And I was freaking out trying to find the cooking oil. It's like, oh fuck, we're gonna have to find more cooking oil because I can't find it. It just disappeared. And Top Hat asked me, like, where I was and, like, what I was doing. And I'd been, like, walking him, him through. And then he just goes, walks over to the fridge, opens it, looks inside, and pulls out the cooking oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just stood there flabbergasted. It's like, as soon as you said... Fridge, I was like, oh, it's there. <laughs> um, Wait, why was the cooking oil in the fridge? Or why did you think Because I went and put the, the eggs away and I accidentally put the cooking oil instead. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I'm impressed. You know, yeah, I'm, just, okay? I'm, I'm just impressed. <laughs> Even with that. Is Star still here? Star. 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 Okay, well, I guess I had to not. go do something with Mishka. Oh, okay. Where is the most uh, beautiful Mishka? star no. in the sky? Oh. You, you, you oh, haven't so... been saying anything. <laughs> oh, I was ow, ow, watching ow, ow. something. Oh, so, and I got uh, distracted. Uh, yeah, <laughs> also, I'm, I, why I, were you talking about a rice cooker and eggs? Why did you put eggs in a rice cooker? No, 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 no. no. Polidor had had their um wallet in a rice cooker. Yeah. Wallet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had to store it, stuff that in it while they were moving, so they had to use whatever space they could. Yeah. Why would you? Um, yeah, that's why. Uh, but Star, I can't watch that video that you sent me. It's not available for my country. Don't Aww. ask me why. How dare! That's that's so fucking dumb. Oh, no. Curse you, Brit uh, curse you, British penal colony. What? Penis? Penis. Penal. Wait, that's if I'm remember if that's a, if I'm remembering if I'm remembering Calador's country right. It's Australia. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, but we became a uh, parliamentary, and plus, not the entirety of Australia is a penal colony. I don't know. Hmm. But you have it's to like do the Georgia was a penal colony originally, if I remember right. Correct. Uh, the, the east coast, the east coast was yes. Uh, Georgia is a U.S. state, by the way. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, the the yeah, it's with, yeah, it's with Georgia. Got it. Mm, there's because there's one too many Georgias, like. Georgias in this world, and one of them has to be a state in the U.S. The other has to be a nation state. I was about to say, there's also a country called Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said there, there's one too many. Eh. There's three in total. Wait, where's the third? It's an island. At the bottom of... It's called... Set My goodness. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was, I thought that was just I thought its full name was South Georgia Island. It's still Georgia. There's a South in it at the beginning. I'm not counting it. <laughs> Changed my mind. But but paradox counts it, okay? Paradox um, counts it. Something interesting um, is my German teacher in um, high school. Um, his grandfather, if I remember right. Um, was from Georgia, the country. Dang! Oh. Yeah. 
That's pretty cool. I think he, spoke, I, I think he was like trilingual or something. Nice. I think he knew. I think jo the language of Georgia. I think I think it's just Georgian. Georgia. Yeah, yeah I think he knew Georgian. that from like his grandfather, and then English, obviously. Um, then I think German. Hmm. All right. I'm, I want to go wanna through this cutscene because I want to see my character green out. <laughs> um, but yeah, like for for like for history, we we know of a great leader that came from Georgia. Mm. Yeah, uh, Joseph Stalin. What? Yeah, Joseph yeah, Stalin was Georgian. Dang. <laughs> there you go. You didn't know that? Well then. No. Well, there you go. yeah, because now, Georgia was know. part of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Yeah. And before that was part of the Russian Empire. Before that was its own independent kingdom. And before that it was part of the Byzantine Empire. It's and before funny. that. <laughs> Actually, a fun fact I remember seeing about Georgia, and I, assuming it hasn't been overturned since, but if I remember right, Georgia is the first country, first country that is a modern republic to vote to restore its monarchy once its current, once the current person who would become king is of a age. Whoa. Why? Because that's what their people voted for. It would be a constitutional one. Yeah. I figured. You Man. just wondered why their people wanted that. I mean... It could be in relation to... Tradition. Tradition, something that they feel... Some legitimate arguments for monarchism, which exists sometimes. And also, that's not, it's not that surprising, because assuming, well, this is a, definitely a few years old, because you know they definitely did not do polls about this in Russia for the past few years, but the third largest mo pro-monarchist movement in the world was within Russia for a while. Hmm. And yes, to restore the Romanovs. I thought all of them were dead. No, not all of them were dead. The cousins were alive. Oh. It was just a direct, a direct lineage, uh, lineage of that specific line of Romanovs. Yeah, because I was about to say the like, Communist Party kind of killed both of them. Well, a large amount. Um, the Tsar's brothers survived. Hmm. It was just, it was just really just the Tsar, all his kids, and wife. As if that's just nothing to you. I mean, entire fucking family. I mean, okay, it's We're not to dynastic families. It, it it is not to minimize the massacre of the Romanovs. It is to say that basically the Bolsheviks did the bare minimum when it came yeah. to attaining their goal. They did not they do just, enough they if they truly the wanted to. If they wanted to truly usurp the Romanovs, they could have done a lot more. Here's the here's the interesting thing though. When the Romanov like when the Tsar and his family were killed, there was actually no orders. It was just the it was just the I was about to say like, I mean, it was just weren't. three dr drunk Bolshevik soldiers who decided to just get rid of them because the white Russian army was actually at the foot of Yekaterinburg. Yeah, Which is where they, they had, were holding the holding the Tsar and his family. They weren't. Uh, they weren't the uh, leaders that planned to kill the Romanovs. It was just um, regular soldiers who did. Mm -hmm. Like it was. It it wasn't an order. They just did it. Like against. Although I will say this. One thing I do agree with the road, though, yeah, it was basically into the area where bare minimum because it did at least do cause enough things to cause a succession crisis where people, where the rest of the Romanov family couldn't agree on who was the who was the proper heir. 
especially with how he has to had the whole rumors of Anastasia being alive, even though she wasn't. Well, unfortunately, especially when you bring up bring up Anastasia, it's mainly because, especially because of technology at the time, they had no way to truly prove yay or nay that Anastasia was alive. Yeah, I mean, nowadays we know for sure that the, all the people who were trying to claim to be were definitely not. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. We and, found the one and the one person. And the one person who was actually the closest one, the closest claimant to being Anastasia by mixture of looks, being able to bullshit her way through, like, guessing like stuff, eventually just admitted, like, yeah, I was just making this stuff up and I just wanted to become famous. Famous. <laughs> and even yeah. after that, she still was famous within, like, certain circles in the US. Especially in the Russian emigrates. <laughs> That was a noise. That was very much a noise. I stretched. I'll be honest, I could tell that was a stretching noise, or if you fell asleep, honestly. <laughs> I stretched! Stretchy noises. <laughs> I'm at that age where no matter what, what is, if I bend down or get up, I have to go, ugh. You're not that old! I'm you getting, fucking bastard! I'm getting I'm getting old, and so are you. Don't you fucking drag me down into your existential crisis. What? You have baby face syndrome too, though. I don't know what you look like! Well, one of these days, possibly. But <laughs> just earlier today, the closest... The, I, just earlier today at work, somebody was like, Oh, why are you, 22? Um... 28, and you're like, damn. Have you seen my face? Yeah. Still get asked if I'm 16. I'm 24. Jesus. Fuck, 2000? I mean, I've posted pictures of my face in the Discord <laughs> if you want to take a look. I. He has a cute face. Yeah, my, um. Fiance used to get comments like he showed like some co-workers of his pictures of me and their first thing out of their mouth is are they legal because <laughs> they thought I was a minor Jeez. <laughs> yeah and then there's us in our body who's regularly been told that we look uh, at least up until recently, older than we have been. Because the first time that we ever went to an anime convention, we went to one with, um, um, fit with, uh, friends, um, uh, well, specifically a friend's family. Uh, it was actually, uh, Staining in the Pain with Mama's Not a Gamer, T. Denime, and their whole bunch. Um, and there was a point where we had interacted with some folks at a Q&A panel just for shits and giggles, but after the panel, while we were just chilling, like, having funny moments and talking, like, the, the topic of age popped up, we said that at the time we were 13, and the folks were taken aback because based on looks... They thought that we were 18. And now, we're fucking 25, we get told that we look like we're in our, like, like 18 to 20, but we act like a fucking 30 year old. The back. <laughs> I make that joke, but it's actually reality for me. I don't know, like, if anyone ever says how we act, like, age-wise, but and we get told, like, we still look like we're, like, 16. We have regularly been told that we, like, act more mature than our age, quote-unquote, and it's kind of a thing that's, at least from we know, 
that's pretty common among a lot of autistic folks, especially undi the undiagnosed autistic oh, folks. No, we tend I to be that all the time growing up. Not yeah. so much now that I'm older, I don't think. Um, if anything, I I have a weird. I don't know if it's juxtaposition, but sometimes I feel like I almost act younger than I should. I don't know if that makes sense. Mmm. Then again, then I meet people actually my age, and then I realize, oh shit, I actually still act older than my age. Honestly, the my I try not to think too much about it because. In the context of, like, emotional maturity in this case, and only in this case, I don't want people to put words in my mouth when it comes to other contexts. But in this specific context, age is kind of a number, because I have met 40-year-olds and 50-year-olds, that includes my father and my egg donor, who have some of the most poor emotional maturity for what is seen as their age. Whereas I have seen people in their 20s and 30s, in contrast, have the most earnest sensitivity and emotional clarity. And, oh god. You know yeah. what you're talking about is um, emotional intelligence? EQ? Right. Um... Some people are just emotionally am, fucking I'm, dumb. I am finally... Why was I peaked? Sorry. I am finally tired enough to be like... Bad Mishka, don't you paw at me. I'm going. Sorry, I... I, 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 oh, you're good. Did I get that? Did I get that quiet before? Yeah, I was listening to you guys, but I got no. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't fully paying attention because I've been hyper focused on game. Game, 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 game. Booba. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Wait, <laughs> Have a good night. Have Don't kiss one. enough ass. Bye. Don't kiss enough ass anyway. Yeah, she sounded like she was starting to pass out right there. And yeah, there. I could hear her too. They even Elk in chat is be like, go to bed. Mishka was going, go to bed. Yes. That way I can eat my paw. I might go to bed too. Well, I have about a 45 minutes before I end stream, at least on my end. Which, I'm a little surprised that no one has wanted to mess around with um, crowd control. I mean, I am surprised, but I'm also not surprised considering crowd control does cost, like, real money. Oh. But, like, I do keep saying, like, a little... A little bit does go a long way. Like, putting a buck fifty down for, like, a hundred coins in crowd control, and the lowest, um, like, the the lowest basically redeem that I have in this is twenty five coins. So a buck fifty for a hundred coins already gives you four redeems. That's pretty all right, at least to me. These are for saving for the donut phone. Fair. Oh my God. Oh, well, it's. It's gonna be 5 a.m. for me, so I'm gonna. So I. I too am going to sleep. You have a good one! Oi, Elk. <laughs> and honestly, I didn't see our community really having much interest in the crowd control. 
Yeah, I mean, it was pretty split in the middle when I had the initial poll of, like, went to see people's interest. Well, and I... Also be included in the poll that costs money. I gave info on crowd control from the beginning. And... I don't know, I didn't look. And, yeah, it was split in the middle when it comes to it. Just because someone votes yes doesn't mean they're actually interested. Or they would utilize it when it's available. Yeah. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I am. I do not disapprove. I see, I have a, I suddenly see a gif of Eevees and Pikachus racing in a relay race. Oh, but yeah, because while Crowd Control's games that I can mess with are limited, I do have a copy of Pokemon Emerald, and Pokemon Emerald can be manipulated by Crowd Control. Hmm. All right, what shall I name the cat? You know what? The cat shall be named Magnus. No, because system names a system name. Nuke Tear. Hmm. Yay! Use. Um, they're listening to music and they're singing along to well, it. Well, yeah, I know. I just, I just got confused because I heard um. Snag up here. Ah. You know, I never noticed this, and now I agree with it. What? Uh, it's, it's something, it has, like, I don't understand this about Fess. It has the Fess, cl Fess closed. Distinguished gentlemen, Fess is open completely. Yeehaw! <laughs> I, it means not wrong. Yeah? I don't want to be right. Until it becomes nine in game. Yeah. 
Who's ready for turkey? Uh, I prefer ham. Like, turkey is nice, but I definitely prefer ham. Um, if I were going to eat a meat on the regular, especially for leftovers, give me that ham. Meanwhile, I would be. Meanwhile, I'm definitely the opposite. I'm very picky when it comes to my pork. If it wasn't for the fact that sweet sweetened hams exist as well as bacon, if I was religiously Jewish, I would be really good. But bacon and sweetened hams exist. Yeah. And they're delicious. Also, what's up, Zelda? Are you getting sleepy, Magnus? I'm always fucking tired. I yeah, you're right. Me. I don't know why I <laughs> even asked that. I, as soon as I asked that, I was like, I am a dumbass. <laughs> also, Zelda, it takes cute to know cute. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda's the cutest. Oh, I thought you were saying that damn thing. I'm a dumbass. I was like, what the fuck? No, it takes no, it cute am... to know cute. That's what I said. I know, but my brain immediately was like, why are you telling Yoda it takes a dumbass to know a dumbass? <laughs> oh my god. I'm... <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, but since I called myself a dumbass, did that mean that did that mean that Road was calling himself a dumbass then? Wow. <laughs> Fucking wow. The gods. Oh, that was too good. <laughs> yes, Zelda, you are cute. And that emote that you're using proves it. Zelda is cute, pass it down. Zelda is cute, pass it down. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Just, just hearing you fucking... Meow. Meow. Brush, 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 brushy, brushy, brushy. Brush all the glue. This <laughs> more. Yeah, both uh, both during uh, Thanksgiving and for for Yule, my family does both turkey and ham for both because, well, for me, I'm a turkey whore. My <laughs> mom's a <the> ham whore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure it's at least where I live. It's pretty normal to have both. In my area, though, frankly, because my area was pretty poor, we tend to prioritize turkey during in November and ham in December. Um, we always have both at both. That way you can pick your poison. But the most important thing is mashed potatoes and gravy. Nah, 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 nah. The cranberry sauce. I hate cranberry. cranberry salad. Fuck, you made a mean fucking cranberry salad. Actually, no, no, no. This one's specifically for Thanksgiving. Who brought the green bean casserole? I can't have it because it has milk. We will find a way to make it lactose free. I also don't like green bean casserole, so. I me. will love Later. like no the, I I would love someone if they would make um I know it's not technically a casserole but 
sweet potato casserole. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, what do you mean by make it, like, a find a way? Because there is a way. Do you mean just... Like, if, if someone could, like, make it and, like, bring it to me so that I don't have to go to Golden Corral, that would be nice. Okay, I'll keep that in mind whenever I do come and visit. Any, request, any, any food requests from you, Magnus? If you're wanting an entree, tempura. Oh my god. You little tempura whore. No, anything with shrimp. Like, I I love tempura in general, but shrimp tempura? Keep me the fuck away if you want to have an arm. Well, if I don't have an arm, then I could get disability. <laughs> Not a, not if uh, you're still able to prove that you work well enough to live on your own, like my blind friend has dealt with. Even though she is literally, Hi. even though she is literally physically disabled and she is blind, because she makes a certain amount and she has a certain amount in her check-ins account, she is not considered federally disabled, and they're going after her ass to try and make her pay. To pay back the government for money that she rightfully deserved because she's fucking disabled. This country does not make sense. It's because it's funded on capitalism. Funded on capitalism, ableism, and all the other fuckingisms that don't deserve to be in this world. I'm going to just add to the capitalism, the capitalism part that increased unregulated capitalism started under Reagan because we actually had more re regulations before Reagan. I'm sorry that I'm a history major. No, they were talking to their self. Oh. Now, you really think that Magnus would ever feel comfortable calling somebody a dumb bitch? Yes. I mean, the only one that could ever get away with calling someone that would be, uh, would be Kalup the Domino. No reaction from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're focused. <clears throat> beware of the dog, but beware of the cat too. He's kind of weird. <laughs> hey, Ma! The cat's back!
Why do I keep getting all the good food ideas that I know I will like, but you guys cannot have? Okay, that was my I point. mean... Is your girl. Just... Mm -hmm. yeah. Unlike... Uh, unlike this one over here, I will destroy my body for some good food. See, here's the thing. You destroy your body for a day. For me, it lasts a week. Real. I was just gonna say I was just gonna say Road was a, is a man of culture. <laughs> no, it's in terms of severity. And honestly, Oof. personally, I'd low key prefer puking to shitting myself. I I've dealt with the latter so much that I prefer it over the former. Which I'm gonna just say this. I actually What'd you say? Oh, that's to you. Wait, what? What'd you say? I did not register what you'd said. Uh, I said something like, um, I would honestly probably prefer, uh, puking to shitting myself. Yeah, and I replied to that in... Yo's? You were trying to say a thing? I was just going to say that I honestly rather puke than have anything like Pepto Bismol or Tums. Uh... Actually, honestly, Tums helps make me do it. <laughs> the opposite of what it promises to do. I have, like, basically IBS, <clears throat> so. I'm fucking tired of stomach issues. At least I researched the type of cheeses you can have. Yeah. Green cheese, big stuff, Dorito chicken, what the hell? Huh? Cream cheese and bacon stuffed Dorito chicken. Interesting. Sounds like heart disease. Out of 12. <laughs> Oh, I forgot there were shadows. Oh, the shadow people? No, in the uh, Stardew. Because I'm in a dark area, um, there are some creatures here that come from the shadows. I'm Pinterest. My Pinterest. Mixture of history, memes, and food. And lots of EV illusions. <laughs> you didn't get on Pinterest. Oh, fuck the egg festival. I have no idea what I think why I thought you said road, so I'm not even going to repeat what I thought you said. Type it. Uh. Typed. Okay, thank you. I'll check that out later. I think probably after finishing up for the egg uh, festival that I will call it for tonight just because with Picardo with, with, after, it tends to be pretty quiet actually with what after with what i typed it with a, after fuck 
with typing it out, it actually doesn't sound as bad as I think it sounds. So I think I can say it. <laughs> I thought you said, what the egg fistful. What would be bad about saying that? I don't know. I think I, I think I just heard fist. I went a different way. No, don't go back to me. Ah, oh, why did I have to get here with my inventory full? Don't come to me, you have to get back. Get back. Get back to where you once belonged. I want that! Oh, it's so pretty. Do this. Aha! I was wondering what that noise was. I was just going, like, oh, the <laughs> book. Yeah. I'm, I, I was just going, like, I hope that's the right name. Yeah, it's book. In old timey days. I'm just hoping I didn't accidentally do any pages together. That sounds like a blunder I fucking do. Oof. I'm sure you did good. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then again, I muted myself, so I don't know. I don't know why I said excuse him off or burp what he got didn't hear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Am I just so? Am I just so kind that I must do it? Nah, it must be indoctrination. <laughs> Okay, well, I understand the concept of this. I disagree with it. Hmm? This, uh, it's a, called a single serve cinnamon roll. Fuck that, I want all 12. Gib. Were you saying Gib to just cinnamon rolls in general? Yes. The cinnamon roll wants a cinnamon roll. <laughs> First, I'm a corgi, now I'm a cinnamon roll. You're a corgi roll. There we go. Compromise. Corgi roll. Oh, that reminds me. Actually, for shits and giggles, uh, for giggles and let me shits. see if I can switch over to. Why are you going to switch to corgi mode? Uh, let's see if it works. <gasps> it does. I can't. Even go <laughs> okay. I need to edit the uh, transformation a little bit. Oh my god. Isa Corgo. I was I want the pet. Isa Corgo. Isa big boy. Isa big boy, look at me! Look at me, Ma! <laughs> so the call you a call of Corgi a big boy is a um oxymoron. Oi. <laughs> what if I was like a mix of like a fucking corgi and a Connie Corso. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what a Kai wire heck you said well, was. Cade Corso is what most people tend to pronounce it as, but I say Kane because it's Italian for dog. It still does not clarify what I don't it's even know. It's an Italian what the dog Mastiff. Is. It's an Italian Mastiff. Okay, there we go. But that yeah, only, we, we, finally, we, we finally we <laughs> finally shown in action. The Corgi PNG. <laughs> it is beautiful. Yay! 
is precious. I's a good boy. It must, it must be protected and given <laughs> cinnamon rolls. Yes, this is the only time that you could ever give a pupper cinnamon rolls because I think they would actually harm a pupper IRL. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, dogs. Uh, cinnamon, if I remember right, is poison towards dogs. Good thing this puppo is half human. Yeah. At least. Ooh, cabbage rolls. Oh, Me. Alright, since we are... I am basically going to cut it after this festival, but I'll keep this... Uh, I'll keep this PNG up. Because goddamn if I ain't cute. Pupper, 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 pupper. Try. I need to take a look at this. Why am I looking at food in the middle of the night? Why am I making myself hungry? To make you ask questions. No, to make me hungry in the middle of the night and working. Mm -hmm. I mean... Why not both, though? I'll allow it. Hmm. Well, the recipe is for what it's calling Chinese-style savory stuffed breakfast pancakes. Hmm. And it says, a pancake filled with a mix of scrambled tofu and veggies. Because it's a vegan recipe. I think I will save. Nice. No, 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 let me get it, let me get it, let me get it! Ah. Yeah. Because I do at least want to try and get into the practice of the concept of meatless Mondays. Mmm! Already pretty much done it. Wait, it's well, not Monday. <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow's. Well, oh, no, actually, no, it is, it is it Monday, is now. Monday right. now. Hey, as of as of forty two minutes ago, it is Monday. At least for all of us that are on the eastern, the, on the eastern side of the U.S., recall it's already been Monday. How's the future, Kala? It's shit. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um. Oh. Um, I'll just... be honest, Kali, you sound like you're passing out. No, I'm just a bit... <gasps> Look, I may be tired, I'm just focused. Look! Things. Look at my stream. That's I has I, I has Kitter in my bed. I has Kitty in my bed. Oh, I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Kitty! I has Kitty in my bed! Kitty, 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 kitty. Magnus! Magnus! Look at the pixel kitty! I see. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, did, did, I tell, uh, did I tell you I got a cat plushie the other day? No. Mm -mm. I did. It's a calico pattern, and it's the size of my blow high. Nice. So I literally have two gigantic plushies. Nice. All right. Well, I am going to hop into bed before I accidentally make myself pass out just standing there in front of my cat. Men menacingly. <laughs> Get out of there, SpongeBob! Meow, 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 SpongeBob. Wow, wow, wow! Alright, um... It's a, bit, it's a little bit of sticky business. I never heard... It auto-saves after sticks. each day. Bitches love, so. love sticks. But, okay. Yeah, I am definitely having this point be where I'm going to call it 15 minutes before the end of stream. But, fuck it. <laughs> oh, and I gotta do all the shit over here. Ah! Oh wait, no, that's uh PNG tuber plus. This is what I'm looking for. 
There we go. Man, just all the scuff today. Damn. Scuffy scuff. All the scuff. With the buff. What a scuff. Baby, don't hurt, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt don't me. Don't scuff me. No, no more. Fucking okay, tree blood. What are you doing? Tree! Come over to Picardo real quick the... and look at the pupper. It's tree, you just... You can I see mean, the puppers yeah. over here! Yes, yeah, <laughs> over, it's over steal people. Too. You already got them all! Okay, derp. Look, I am literally going in like... Like two minutes. Tree, you, ju you just missed, m missed Star not that long ago. Actually, I need to add... Need to add where we can work, my friend. But she was there. Uh, she is now. She just came to visit for a bit. Oh. Well. Yo's, you got imagine, Star in trouble. Imagine. What? Imagine Star going to bed at a decent time. Nah. You got Star in trouble with Daddy Tree. Uh oh. Uh, we all know that Star puts Tree in his place. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I am hopping off on my end. Uh, please be sure to give Magnus some support. Unfortunately, the bot that I have been using for like my notifications and whatnot for Picardo, uh, does not work anymore for whatever reason. Like it's just gone. Like, I can access the website, but its support system is destroyed. Um, setting up a ticket doesn't work because the invite link to their Discord server does not work anymore. So either they have a faulty link or their server was shut down. And yeah, that means I either have to figure out how to code this shit on my own on a program on my computer to set things up for myself or we're just going to have to win it and keep with Picardo streams without similar stuff that we have had on Twitch. I is Sedge. But. You could make a Picardo roll and so that people can and you can tag that every time. Uh, wait. You go live on Picardo. Well, I'm meaning, like, um, commands in chat. So, oh! Like, the, like, my, like, tip, my throne, the Discord link, the th things like that. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, the server. No, 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 no. And no, I already have a bot uh, set in the, in the server to note when I'm live on Picardo. Yeah, I thought you were saying that doesn't work anymore. No, that one still works. Um, a bot that I have been using in my chats called Beatbot is no longer working. Huh. And I cannot access any way to get support for this. So we're back to square one. I mean, at least we're not at square zero. Yeah. Oh, Zelda be like, dog or not, you're always cute, Road. Oh, thank you. Starting to feel hung hungry, but the only snack worth enjoying is Road and he's far away. <laughs> fucking Zelda, Zelda keeps fucking trying to one-up himself on the Riz. Like, damn. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Zelda uh, Magnus can just uh, nom him for you. Faye is nom, nomming nom, my nom. shoulder. <laughs> nom, 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 and nom, as nom. soon as I state it, you're like, okay, I'm done. Here. Do I need to make like, <laughs> a cat, like a winged cat form for you or something? Yes. Do it. Oh, we should add. Oh, do I need to edit the incentives and goals for the thing to. I can take nah, fuck it. I'll do, fuck it. I'll do that as a Yule gift. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll do that do as it. a Yule gift. Do it. And do now it, that I have it on stream, it. I have to do it. Now that I say it on stream, do I have to it, fucking do it. Do it. 
do it, do it. Okay. You shall be a black and purple. You, you shall be a black and purple tabby. Like, like a black, gray, purple tabby with wings. Alrighty. Um, yes, I've heard of Munchkin Cats. Um, they're actually. Oh, those poor babies. They, yeah, they're born with intentionally bred deformities, and it's actually not great. They have a lot of health issues. I mean, that's technically all breeds of, like, say, dogs and cats that are pure. Yeah, York, um, corgis deal with a similar thing. Um, same with Yorkies, I think, especially given how tiny they are. Um, another problem that a lot of dogs and cats may deal with is scrunched in, uh, faces and noses. Some of them literally have to go through rhinoplasty so that they can fucking breathe. Yep. And unfortunately, you can think of a it's little movement more, in Star um, of EU. It's not rhinoplasty, it's, um, uh, soft palate surgery. Oh! Um, because the issue is that when you, they, they were bred to have scrunched up faces like that, they still have the soft palate of a normal nose dog, basically. Mm. So they have a tiny muzzle with a large um, soft palate, and the soft palate obstructs their breathing. It goes literally over their airway. Uh. Um, and actually, with brachiocephalic dogs, which is the word for it, um, they can end up having their esophagus explode. Wow, that is one of the complications because it's so hard for them to breathe. It builds up so much pressure; it basically shatters the esophagus. Yeah, it's fucking nasty. Yeah, just goes to show it's that you check movement. They even didn't just ruin humans; they also ruin ruin animals. Ah, uh, that's... Adding some history. Yeah, that said, unfortunately, given the fact that my bot is down, I can't do my normal stuff, but for those that... um, I should have a thing on... Uh, in my description, in my Picardo stream, that holds, like, all of my links. If you want to be part of the community, do know that you can hop into Discord. It's in collaboration with Nebulas Noctis. Do you know the way you hop in? You have 15 minutes to verify the overbred the rules. Otherwise, you will be temporarily booted by one of the bots. Spent to curb against hate raids and trolls. Do know that, like my streams here, the community is 18 plus. We do our best to be LGBTQA to Spirit Plus, neurodivergent, disability, and mental health forward. And we especially do our best to uplift and advocate for BIPOC voices, especially when it comes to advocating for their own experiences. <laughs> If you want to support me financially, there's a few ways you can do that. You can check out my Kofi, you can check out my throne, you can check out my stream elements, and you can tip me. The, the biggest financial support will be very much appreciated over at the Nuktar Clan, as they are preparing for a Donathon and a Dono Week throughout the week of the 3rd through the 9th of December. Give them all your money. <laughs> We are preparing for a very massive uh, Donathon event, especially on the 4th of December, time pending because of their work, in order to pay well, for a car repair. I'm yeah. going to make sure I have all. Yeah, in order to pay for a car repair for, an, for a part that really should have been recalled, but because it was deemed n a non-issue, despite the fact that it was... Basically, the electronics that are integral to notice basically the car's vitals. There was no recall on it, and so they're having to pay out of pocket in order to be able to get this fixed. And given the financial issues that our apartment has already dealt with this, this past year, this is obviously the icing on the cake of a very much shitstorm. And any help is very much appreciated. That said... Um... If you also want to keep track on VODs on my end, feel free to check out the official YouTube channel and be ready for a second channel where we will be getting to dive into some deeper content, video essays, video discussions, and con lane, um, like con lane lessons and things like that related to the con lane that is used in my and my system's lore. That said, 
Do know that while this is the end of stream, this is not the end of our time together, as the road's dust will always be open for another adventure. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. Please have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say, bye bye Bye, road stream.